aka Downsize It, and today we have a very special battle report for you guys. We've got a lot of the crew together. We have Soldier General Rob, we have Buster aka Banshee, and we have Aaron the Sir Chicken, who went with me to LSO. And this is going to be a send-off game for Grand Admiral Thrawn. For the past two months, you guys have been taking this journey with me for me to practice and get prepared. And you guys have seen a lot of Thrawn on the channel. Yes. yes. So, wait. This will be Thrawn's last battle. It's a long time. Thrawn's last battle. So you can say this could be his Thrawn song. Okay. <laughs> and the puns are going to be live today <laughs> and full in full force as well. So I'm going to be bringing a uh, sort of hybrid list of the two lists I was playing with. And then Social General Rob and Aaron, they're going to be playing, a, we're breaking all the rules by the way for this one. They're bringing yeah. a extreme hybrid force. We have some. Um, we've got Salto, we've got Akbar, we've got Martuk, and they're all they're basically holdouts, and Thrawn is hunting them down. And so uh, we're running the blockade, aren't we? Uh, yeah, you're running the blockade. No, so, yeah, you guys are trying to run up the blockade, we're hunting you guys down. The evil Separatist, the evil Rev Rebellion, we have to crush them once and for all. Yes. And so that we can prepare the galaxy for the alien invasion that's coming. Yes. So that's why Thrawn is his last battle. Finish off these rebels and Separatists, and then go off to the galactic edge to prepare for the invasion. I believe the Vulcan fleet is waiting for Vulcan, us. Well, yes, the Vulcan fleet will be helping us. Actually. Yes, yes. Yeah. No. yeah, the Dominion is coming. The yeah, Dominion is coming. The Dominion is coming. Klingons are on our side. Yes, We're good. yeah. Um, so, real quick, since this is kind of like a finale bat rep for the whole tournament prep for the Lone Star Open we did, you guys have already seen my recaps and talking about things. Um, Ed and Rob as well. Uh, Aaron, did you want to just maybe give a just brief thoughts about what your experience was like and how, how it went for you. Yeah, absolutely. So if you're thinking about ever going to a tournament, uh, go to it. My experience was highly enjoyable. Even the competitive format, met everybody there that was very helpful and would coach you through some things if you were you know, having an error or generating an error. Um, so I learned a lot and that's the biggest thing I can say. So if you're thinking about going, but you're like, ah, I don't know if I want to go because I might be embarrassed or, or whatever. Trust me, I made plenty of mistakes. You shouldn't worry about it, you should just go and have fun because it's a great group of people. Uh, and that's probably the biggest thing I learned in the LSO was just uh, getting to know the rules more in depth because the wording and key phrases are critical in you understanding how the game mechanics work. And I think I took that for granted before I went because I would kind of like, you know, breeze through or summarize or like, oh yeah, that's like what I'm, that, that's just like another game I played. No, you need to pay attention yeah. to the specific wording and uh, that really changes the game mechanics and how it's played. So that's the biggest thing I, I took away from now, so. Yeah. And uh, Aaron and I both got the bug. I mean, I mentioned it on the video that came out on Sunday announcing the winner for the giveaway, but uh, Aaron and I are already signed up for the Las Vegas Open 2022. Put the bug and uh, you know trying to go you know, here. Yeah, yeah, trying to. So we'll see if they we can convince them to uh, yeah. to do it. I'm close. I'm yeah. close. I'm close to. Yeah. So you will be seeing at least two members of the Downsize the channel go in there, and also possibly my brother-in-law Zach. My sister is going to try to talk to them about that for their vacation. Yeah. My so. wife wants to go, so it makes it almost like I got. Well, how is that even? That, that you have no excuse. So I think I'm going to be there. Yes. All right, well, I will be going over the fleets and the mission coming up, and also when I go over that, I'll just be, we're going to, like I said, we're breaking all the rules. We're doing major house rules here, 600-point game, and uh, I'll be detailing uh, just kind of like how the house rules are going to work. And this is just going to be a fun, relaxed game. Yes, I mean, my fleet is kind of an amalgam of two tournament fleets, but um, right. there is a pretty, they, Social General Robin Aaron have a pretty good advantage as well, and we'll see how it goes. We're just going to have fun, keep the fast and loose. So... Coming up next will be the fleets and the mission. For the Imperials, we have Grand Admiral Thrawn back on my classic Chimera <clears throat> as an Imperial 2 Star Destroyer with Commander Vonto, local fire control, flat guns, advanced projectors, leading shots, XI-7s, and starting out with Dake Evasive Action. We have Emperor Palpatine on his ISD Kuat with gunnery teams, advanced projectors, leading shots, and yes, the dreaded expanded launchers because I'm stubborn. We have a Quasar Fire 1 with Flight Commander, Flight Controllers, Expanded Hangar Bay, and Boosted Comms, and a Gazanti Cruiser with Commander Woldar and Bomber Command Center. 
And then for the squadrons, we have Merrick Steele, Colonel Jendon, Captain Jonas, Zertik Strom, and five Thai defenders. For the Rebel Separatist Alliance Force, we have Admiral Akbar on an MC-80 assault cruiser with the Defiance title, Krista Agate, Reactive Gunnery, Advanced Projectors, Leading Shots, and DBY Heavy Turbo Lasers. We have Commander Sato on Jaina's Light and a CR-90A with Leo Organa, Auxiliary Shields Teams, and Linked Turbo Laser Towers. And then we have Martuk on a recu Recusant Light Destroyer with Patriot's Fist title, Wat Tambor, Ordnance Experts, Reserve Hangar Deck, Wide Area Barrage, and Swivel Mount Batteries. A Hard Cell Battle Refit with Reserve Hangar Deck and Spinal Armament. A Hard Cell Transport with Parts Resupply and Beast of Burden. And for their combo of squads, we've got Shar Bay and Tycho Kelchu leading two droid tri-fighters and two vulture droid fighter squadrons. For the mission, we are taking inspiration from Blockade Run. Grand Admiral Thrawn is setting up a blockade and will be first player. And then the Separatists and the re, uh, Rebellion combo forces were house ruling that they are all friendly to each other. So they are going to get the effects of all three commanders. The Rebel Forces have had brand new uh, droid control units installed on their ships so they can get AI bonuses if they command the Tri-Fighters. So everyone is friendly to everyone else and everyone gets the benefit from everybody else. We're doing all the rule breaking and all the house rules. For the mission, the Separatists and Rebels must run the blockade. If they can make it off the opposite board edge by the end of the game, that will not count as a destroyed ship, that will count as an escaped ship. And for a total victory, if all three commanders escape, then that will be a complete victory. And they also count as escaping if they are in Thrawn's deployment edge or deployment zone at the end of round six. For Grand Admiral Thrawn and the Imperials and the Seventh Fleet, for them to achieve a total victory, they must destroy all three commanders. So Akbar, Sato, and Martuk must all be eliminated for a complete victory. But if they eliminate just one commander, it will be a Pyrrhic victory. So coming up next, you will see all of us deploying in a sped up overlay while we discuss our strategy and tactics and our house rules and our fast and loose play for today in the pre-game interview. So now that you guys have seen uh, the fleets and I've kind of gone over the special roles we're doing for the mission, um, you're now about to see us doing deployment on a sped up overlay about right here. And let's talk about the, uh, the ragtag group of uh, criminals that are trying to escape this planet. Uh, Rob, Aaron, why don't you talk to us about uh, your plans to surrender and just uh, come quietly and just, just let right. it be done? Oh, I don't think so. Oh. Yeah, and I don't know what bandits you're talking about, or ragtag group. This is a highly trained group. I don't know what you're talking about. Ah, yes. yes we've taken the best of the rebels. Akbar himself, Aaron. Yes, absolutely. And we've uh, taken the um, separatists, which we have Mark took on. And he's coming in. He's going to help us out. He's get us through the fraud and the. The new, new Imperials, uh, Imperial forces, I guess. Not forces, not, not the, uh, what do you call the little guys, or big, I think that's moon, um, star base. But, uh... Do you forget that Palpatine Ron, is here as well? Ron Jensen, is it the real Palpatine? It is the real Palpatine. Is it the real Palpatine? The other Palpatine is the real Palpatine. Palpatine, 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 Palpatine. Yeah, Palpatine versus Palpatine. You might have admitted that that was a long way. Alright, so... <laughs> and then we got a couple hard cells, and we got Sato. Of course, we have them on the CR-9, you have them on the front of the you can see in a few moments. Uh, the ragtag group, as we've been called, is uh, basically to be doing a lot of um, concentrating um, fire, basically. Because we got a lot of dice that can be added all together. So, I mean, you got Martuk, you can add the red die, as long as you have shield. Martuk, uh, Martuk, I'm sorry. Sato will add two dice as long as the fighter. He does. doesn't add, you know, he swaps dice out. Right. So, so as long as the fighter is on. Yeah. And then we have Akbar, which if you do a side shot, 
you'll get plus two in the dice. So, if you think about it all together, everything works out perfectly, which again, this is the ultimate group again, we've got the elite force. So, it'll be almost a uh, plus five dice to whatever our printed card is. And you can see we've deployed uh, across our entire deployment zone with the mission, you know, what we said is, if they kill one of our admirals or generals, uh, they get an additional point, right? Yeah, so it's, it's going to be a pure, our goal is to wipe out the, the leadership, the command leadership of the separatists and the rebels once and for all. This, these criminals need to get their leadership out and escape, so. We're just meeting yeah. out other cells. I don't know yes. about criminal. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so we can put our forces kind of across, um, not put all of our eggs in one, one basket or one side of the board, if you will. Right. Yeah. I just want to say that rebels belong, or criminals belong in rebel cells. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah you can see that. Yeah. Going on well, so I see all this, like, you know, what I find interesting is that this ragtag force has to combine all these commanders together just to try to work together. That's a lot of logistical planning that has to go on. A lot of things can go wrong. A lot can go wrong. Fortunately, on the seventh fleet, we have the Grand Admiral himself, the master strategist. Yes. We only need one commander. We don't need multiple, multiple commanders. Thrawn is such a master strategist, he can command the entire fleet with ease. And uh, we've set up the perfect plan to trap these um, enemy commanders and finally put them away for good. And then Thrawn actually has competent Imperial officers who are serving for him. He's, yes. He's called of the weak. The yep. ones that are in it for themselves, the ones yep. who make egotistical moves, they're gone. Yep. These are all people who will stick to Thrawn's plan. And Thrawn actually trains his officers. He doesn't just kill them outright. He loves them to learn and to develop and to grow. Yes. yes. So that has been seen many times. Actually. Yes. So and uh, and we also have obviously our superior fighters, the brand new Tide Defenders, off the line, being mass produced. Basically, these these old junker droid fighters from 40 years ago, you know, 30 years ago. They're so old, you know, they're not gonna be able to hold up at all. Uh, I expect to uh, obtain for you space superiority in the short term. Yes, thank you. Yeah, Bust, Bust, uh, Buster is going to be my uh, wing commander, <laughs> while uh, um, I will be commanding the capital forces. Yeah, so yeah, we talked strategy a little bit. Right? We did. Yes, yeah, we talked strategy here. Uh, I, 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 I can tell you. Ask him to. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I, I can tell you, because right now, I'm very, <laughs> very curious. I mean, we, we have a beautiful, I am in admiration of the setup of two true capital ships that the uh, yes. separatist slash rebel scum have uh, put out there because they are actually uh, forming what you might call an L maneuver uh, where they can actually get a broadside and a powerful frontal assault on our Star Destroyer. And if they time that right, we can actually drop the Star Destroyer in one turn. And I would really like to see that but I, I think that we will maneuver in such a way that they are cheated of that uh, apparent broadside yeah. slash. It is a difficult maneuver, and uh, we will have to use our superior maneuvering and superior piloting skills of the Imperials yeah. to, uh, 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 to avoid that. To avoid that. So. That'll be interesting so, to see how that works. But they're set up beautifully for that. That's, yes. that's the thing I'm most, most uh, concerned about. about yes. there. Yes, because yeah. you should be concerned, especially since you are one of the officers who like to cheat a lot. Cheat to your own advantage, I believe you call it, right? Yeah, yes. yes. Oh, that's right. We've had one ins before. I, I, I changed the rules to my own advantage. Yes. <laughs> I know that's cheat to his own advantage. <laughs> well, are there any other words from the uh, opposing force here? Not far. Go right out. No. No, Aaron? Well, I think it is time for us to finally put the hammer down and end this separatist rebellion once and for all. Yes. So we'll be back at the start of round one. Okay, hey, here we are at the start of round one. We have Sato on Jaina's light here being escorted by the Separatist hard cells and whatever remaining squadron forces they can muster together. Tycho and Shara are still alive in the rebellion, escorting these droid fighters while Akbar, along with Martuk, on their flagships with their big guns 
We'll see if they can break this blockade. Palpatine himself is also here with Thrawn on the Chimera. But the brand new TIE Defenders, fresh off the line, are here being commanded by the best carrier in the galaxy, which is the Quasar. We'll see if these Rebel Separatists Alliance can escape this blockade. So I reveal a maneuver for the Gazanti, and I'm just going to, uh, I thought about all the different options I have here, but I'm just going to go with a forward one, and hope I don't hit any of my own fighters here. Yeah, just take a token just in case, maybe? Yeah, we're going to yeah. take a token. Yeah. Engineer, Kyle, going to take an engineer token, and commence. Okay, so at the start of the round. Yeah. Start of the ship phase. After we plan dials, yeah. then I decide. Yeah. Well, so we're not using one this turn. Right, not using one this turn. Yeah. Is that. Probably Sorry, one, probably I just not have in there. Ron on the Chimera reveals a navigate command and orders his pilots set engines to station keeping and drops down to speed zero. Down Vaughn orders. Give us a navigate token. Prepare to start issuing fleet commands. So I'm going to battle for the transport. I'm going to battle for the battle for transport, and it is going to be a navigation uh, dial, which will be reducing our speed by one. Uh, we have a carrier. It's a maneuver. I will take a token. Oh, no, actually, I won't take a token. Right. I'm going to go ahead and set my speed down to zero. <laughs> Just wait for our enemy to come to us. Wait for it. Hold. Hold. Okay, we're doing the battle refit next. It is a navigation dial, which we will be using to. And then just be on the opposite side of it. Yep. Do a little side shuffle there. Discs are awesome. Yeah, I love them. It's so much easier. That's a neat little maneuver. I like it. Yeah, I love the side. Yeah. And, you know, Tokyo drifting is here. It's used to navigate, but he will not be stalling. He's going to be going speed one, just straight for now. Okay, Sano is moving up on CR90. It's a navigation dial, and which we will be using to come up right next to the battle reef. It's got nothing at the Okay, so we can do one since yeah. we did the maneuver and, and go like this and just. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes, yeah. so this is B3. Yeah. Yeah. Hyper maneuverable. See your 90s. They're in good formation too. Yeah. Alright, the requisite on uh, going at speed one currently is a navigation dial. We'll continue to go to speed one. And bank the token. And bank the token. So we'll go forward straight one. Slow rolling it with the commander. They're not close. Where are they? You don't know that we're setting a trap. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but we will. They're trying to do a reverse trap. Yes. I mean, that's all I for. Do you want to go so straight forward or do you want to go? Straight. 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 straight? All right. Alright, that's it for ship activations. We're going to the squad phase. We're going to do all the squad moves off screen, and I'll give a recap of where everything went at the start of round two. Round two. Um, no Thrawn dials or fleet commands currently. Both wing commanders are playing cagey with their squads. Just some repositioning on the Separatist Rebel Force and the Imperial Squad just reorganized, getting into formation at the four of their flagships. Both sides currently being cagey. We'll see who decides to jump We're first. We're going to maneuver for the Gazinti. The captain orders them to stay steady forward, not wanting to get too far out ahead of the rest of the fleet. All right, now comes the hard cell transport. And it's an engineering dial, and we'll be setting up tokens for the following ships. Um, we're setting speed zero, of course, because we're going to go one for the requisite. 
using parts resupply. Put these in a central position where you can resupply the entire fleet. And then once they'll be going to the uh, yeah. and once they'll be going all the way over to Act Bar up. So. Or no, it's not going to happen. And I don't think it's going to be any loaders. So we're going to set there. What are you doing with your engineering dial? We're going to token it. Taken and yeah, take it. So take it a token. Yep. Yeah. So Thrawn is uh, ordering an engineering command, taking a token, remaining at speed zero, just sitting back and seeing how the battle develops before committing any which way. All right. The uh, battle fit hard cell is uh, next. It's a squadron dial. We bank in the squadron dial, the token enemy. And we continue moving at speed two. Quick and quick. And they look at the Just going to go straight in. I think we're going to shuffle out. Okay, like so. One click at the one and then one click at the left. Yes. One click to the left. How do you say that? One click to the left at two? I guess that's about right. That's what you see on camera we're doing. Okay, there. <laughs> Activating the quasar, I have a maneuver token that I will take and I will stand still station for them, waiting to see why these rebels do not get surrendered. I don't know why either. Clearly, they're not. Serenity's next. We're going to move to Sail. And it is an engineering dial, which we will be using for auxiliary shields. And an engineering token, too, so we can get uh, some more inside. Yeah, yeah, they seal. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And an engineering token, too. Yeah. Yeah. Auxiliary shield. That's. Um, well, it's not quite. Okay. So. Because we have the engineer. Oh, so you can get three. So you can have a race one, then you have to move one. Right, so we're going to take it off the back. Yeah. 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 I thought I had it. Nah, it's I don't know what I was thinking. It's alright. Alright, so that's spent. I thought it was a hard sell, that's what it was. Hard yeah. sells get three, I think, don't they? Uh, yep, they do. Yeah. This way we keep our formation about the same yeah, of what we were. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Hopefully. Sato maintaining with the battle refit. CR90 and a hard sell flying together. Never thought you'd see this happen. I'm just gonna fly by us. What are we gonna do? Well, Papton's like, well, I guess I better cube in engineering as well. Taking a token. And loading up torpedo bays, squaring off against the Patriots' fist. I've heard rumors about this infamous destroyer for the Separatists, and Palpatine is eager to show it the true firepower of the Imperial Star Destroyer. All right. So, the record symbol is up next. It's the engineering dial, which we will not be using. We'll be discarding. Um, and we will be going with speed one forward in to meet the Palpatine. Mark Duke's not afraid of the Emperor. No. Probably should be. Look, there are good standings there. Somehow Mark Duke survived the purge that Anakin did yes. on Mustafar. We have Akbar. At this point, so Akbar, the MC80, has got a squadron dial. It is going to more than likely bank that. Just gonna do a quick measurement here. I don't want to go flying in and be suicidal here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Save it for later. Yep. Saving it for later. And now the critical question is: Is do we want to turn in hard, or do we want to keep a uh, Inching. I will follow your orders to the letter. Yeah, I love how every time Thrawn moves, it's because yeah, one, one, one of his officers not following his orders. Yeah. Or because Thrawn had the plan and they would just stuck to it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Every time. Yeah. That'll be next turn. Although there, I would love to read that. Uh, or we do that, uh, the one where they're trying to escape and then, yeah. and then Constantine breaks formation. Yeah. And we can actually do that. Because there's no way. That invariably would have obliterated the down channel. I would love to see we, yeah. we can actually do that. We we'll might set that up to do a battle for that. Because it would be this. We forget what plane that was, be but it would be this, but it would we'd have yeah. Phoenix troop there, and they wouldn't yeah. have any command ships. It would just be a yeah. whole 
All the ships. I think we might start seeing some engagement round three. Again, squads, we'll do the movement off screen because there probably won't be any fighting unless the rebels decide to suicide themselves into our defender ball. I don't think that's going to happen, so I'll give you a recap at the start of round three. The start of round three. Take evasive action has been ordered across the fleet as well as a squadron command directly from Thrawn. As you can see, the squad still playing KG, but Shar and Tycho coming forward to potentially start protecting uh, enemy squadrons that might come in. The Tri-Fighters moving over to support Martuk, maybe to try to get in close range so she can do some conversions with Sato to change to Black Dice. Meanwhile, the Imperial squad still Playing it close to the vest, only sliding forward just barely. I think we will start to see some engagement this round. Token, I'm not going to change anything, so it's just a wasted dial. And it's uh, do we want to use the Thrawn squad dial? Do we want to activate any squads, reposition them, or do you want to just uh, maybe take a token and swap out a snap token that it has? Can't take energy. Yeah, no. So that actually would be a good. Yeah. Just put the pickle on the pickle. Yeah, try to lock, lock it down. Yeah, I have no problem. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Okay, so, so we are using the Thrawn dial to activate yeah. squadrons. Bring it on. Yeah. It's a trap, I swear. Now let's just make sure we have activation distance, but I'm pretty sure we do. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah we got more than enough activation. Yeah. So, do yeah. you have to do Okay, so we're doing this one right here. Oh, it's channel Yeah. yeah. Oh, God. Right here. That's a plain one, right? Mm-hmm. So, I could actually... Oh, I still want to make sure we lip over that asteroid yeah. so that we're engaging it. Right. So, I'm thinking about blocking yeah. from that. Well, I'm going to be able to Oh, it ought to be close, but... But I want to, I want to be on the other side of the asteroid from that. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. So, yeah. I can't get double blocked. Yeah. So, yeah. easily can do it, so we will... So I'm thinking right here. Yep. That's the, well within one. Yep. Okay. And then, uh, all right, we'll take our shot. We'll be all back right, at the dice screen. Black on this tri fighter. Survey says four damage. Tri fighter gets obliterated, but you do have counter back. Yep. Uh, counter two. Oh, wait a minute. Right here. Got uh, two blue. Ah, uh, you can roll for us, man. Oh well, you don't need to curse your dice. Yeah. Sure. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, you didn't risk it. I did. Yep, so I, I don't think they'll make that mistake in the future. Yeah, so but, uh, we're going to reserve hangar deck that one, yeah? Yep, yep. so reserve hangar deck on the requisite. It has been spent. Tri-Fighter comes back within distance, distance one, one at, dis at uh, health two. Okay, for so second squad, we're going to send a defender in to uh, make, try to snipe a vulture and also lock down this squad ball over here. Mm. Minus Tycho, because Tycho can't be locked down. Mm. And that will be distance one from everybody. Yeah. yeah. I just want to think I'm doing this. Right here. So. Like that? Is that distance one on the other? Yeah, distance one is, I'm pretty sure that's going to be distance one from the other one. Yeah, it is now. I, 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 I always forget how far distance one is. It, it's yeah, a little bit further than the other ones. Oh, it always surprises me. So two blue and two black. Two blue and two black. And I guess going for the vulture yep, on the right. Yep, vulture on the right. Vulture on the right. And no oh, one a whiff on that one. Only one. And vultures don't have counters, so don't no. worry about a counter. No, but I right. smell a dead tide defender for... Ooh. 16 points? More yeah, that's true. Yeah. 16 points. Yeah. We'll see. We'll Today's see. Moral victory. Yeah. Oh, that's, I think we did no. get it. No, I don't think so. Oh. I think it's right Wow. Well, where's Karnak? 
Yeah, yeah right. Karnak on our chair. We need him. Yeah. Where's Director Krennic? <laughs> Barely avoided that asteroid. Okay, the hard cell, the hard cell transport is on the move. It did um, at the beginning of the round spend its uh, engineering token to resupply the part resupply. And now it is a navigation dial, which will be moving up to one. Time to move. Want to go straight forward? Or do you want to uh, uh, turn left? Let's see what straight forward looks like. Right. Straight forward would be uh, mighty close to dial, but you could you could probably get it. I'm pretty confident you could get it without running in to the shield dial. So if you want to go straight forward, we could. Or you can do one, or you can do two. If you turn, you, I think you almost guarantee to ring if you turn. Yeah. I'm just just by eyeballing it. I think straight is the best bet, anyways, just because we want to conserve range. Although it might be close. I mean, a small base ship is small. It, it'll be close if you go straight or turn. I think it'll be. Uh, you just want to go straight? I think that'll be the best bet. For okay, me. locking in, going straight. Oh, yeah, you got it. Easy. Again, you guys have been watching Imperial Flying for years. <laughs> Going to our uh, aerospace shows. One with Thrawn on the Chimera to navigate, and I'll be using it to speed up to one. And with the Thrawn dial, taking a squadron token. And just going straight for now. Just coming up to touch the station, make sure my crew is well. Um, you know, increase the uh, morale of the crew. And after that move is complete, Vonto will give me a navigate token. After waiting on our two. Alright, the navigation, which we probably will be using. And so, first of all, we will be um, flattering. Well, I'm going to use a token first. Use a token to, to use a ship. We use yep. a new and they have a squad token on there, so they're going to be activating. That vulture, and then they'll be doing a flat shot on the defender. Can add the flag. No, can't add the red. You can't add the red because it's not in the base pool. The dice pool. This is better because flag, yep, this is a uh, you know more odds to hit. Yeah. yeah. So vulture coming in with the AI adding in the flag. So two black and a blue on the defender. And two damage. Nice. And then the flag is a black and a blue. Yep. Oh, that's alright. You're touching my four. What else? A blank on the black. And nothing. Superior yeah, superior Imperial piloting. You can yes. evade the flag shots and stuff. So we could do something like this. Mm -hmm. You get that quasar going. Because yeah, that, that quasar is not going to stay there and just. Uh, no, those flag shots are strong all over. Either way, the flag shots are over. Well, I mean, it's a great ship for fighters to swarm because it's got fairly good flak dice. Yeah, it's a size that I don't want to know. But, um, well, we could do this. That's that's an option. So one click at the one going right. Yeah. One click at the two going left, and then using the final click the at the three, and one click into the left. I mean. Yeah. Or, or we could, well, or we could do that. <laughs> um, I like the other one better. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna do that. Yeah. So we're gonna do that. Get that quasar going. Yep. It's really hoping we're gonna score a hit with. Uh, Me too. Me too. That flak. It is a maneuver. He is not going to use it, but he's going to use the yep, squadron dog. Strong command coming in. And Get here, five. Here comes the magic. Expanded hangers. Here comes the judge. Here comes the judge. Okay. Now, well, now, to now feel free to grab Merrick. Oh, yeah. Yep. 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 Merrick has been coming in. One. I don't know. Uh, I can, get, can you get there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, that'll be this one. Wait, why the heck did we not reroll our swarm dice? On the vulture droid. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, roll yeah. it yeah. yeah. Or it was, it was a blue. That was a blue. It was a blue that yeah, yeah. the yeah. crit. Yeah. There we go. Is it hit? So then okay. Hey, don't forget some more. So no. Yep. So we took them by the hangar base. Okay, perfect. Okay. So 
Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's going to definitely. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, when you get the actual angle line coming in. Yeah. It's it's me now. Maybe we should have gone to speak more. Yeah. It's not American. But either way, they would have actually would have been within range. Not American, but over there. Not there it is. It's definitely. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So Merrick's coming in first. We'll bring Jen in and after that. And then more defenders will be coming in behind that. Maybe Jonas. Yeah. And I'll take a picture of just where Merrick's at. But. And you guys can just imagine all the other stuff. Okay, so first we got Merrick coming in. So guys, we get Merrick, Jendon, and Jonas moving in. And then we can choose if we want to lock something down, turn this to a crit, or turn this to a crit, do a crit hit. That's Merrick's special ability. He can turn a dice to a crit face. Oh, okay. Man, I wish I hadn't done him first then. So we're not well, going to do... Well, that's, here's, here's the lock thing. Down the shield. Lock down the redirect so and turn this to a crit. Oh, we can do both? Yep, because we're not changing this. This oh, is just gotcha. a... Yep, okay. yep. yep so... You can make this re-roll that if you want, to evade. I think that'd be blind. Or should we say it's dead and get shields down? Because we don't even want shields down. Yeah, I mean, I just wait. Okay, so okay, shields okay. down. Because you've got Jonas there, which is an actual bomber, right? I'd rather yep. re-roll a black die. Well, Merrick's also a bomber as well. Yeah. Right, yeah. but yeah. we have shields. So, yeah. so okay, shields, shields down. down. Now, now, now let's, let's do the bomber first. Jonas, black dice. Yeah. Jonas Black Dice. One hit. For a hit. So, yeah. Where to? Where to? Okay, go. You can go back. Front has three. Three. We'll take one off the front. And the back has two. Uh, two. You want to go off the front? Oh, okay. I'm going back. back. It's on the back, though. If you think that, I'm just like, it's on the Okay. Jen didn't tell him Merrick to attack again. Yep. Merrick says, sure thing. Sure thing, boss. And two yeah. hits. And, and then change one to a crit. A crit. Yep. Do you want to brace that? Um, or do you want to brace re and re-roll? So the re-roll... Okay, so you want to spend the evade and have re-roll re the crit? crit. Yeah. Okay, I'm good with that. And then we decide whether we can Okay, re-roll the crit. Oh, accuracy, and we can't spend it here. Yep. So now we just take one damage card. Yeah. Unless sure. you want to burn your redirect. No. Sure you don't want to burn redirect? No, okay. I'm sure about that. So one face down. Okay. Then we've got two more defenders coming in, guys. They have not been moved on the picture you're seeing. And I really have no problem bringing them from the right side. What's the thing? Uh, that's that's uh, Zertic. He's the escort. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, our defenders are multi role They're bombers. So if we get crits, it'll be effective. Right. Okay, so just one dice, right? Yeah, so blue. first defender, one blue. They are a bomber. And we're just in bomber command. Yep. So we can re-roll that. Oh. We should have done that with the... Uh, we forgot to do the other one. That's yeah. okay. Didn't roll anything. Think you guys, think, yep. think you guys got a... Uh, you wanted, right? Yeah, we yeah, did pretty good. Yeah. 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 Maybe so, spent tokens. Yeah. Do you want to take it or you want to burn an evade for a new redirect? Yeah, um, I'm going to just take it. Well, we got five. Yep. Or five. Uh, I can take it. All right, then last defender coming in by our fifth activation. If that other vulture can take out the other tie defender, we're going to be in business. With. With. We're going to be in business. <laughs> Bomber command. Not and a hit. It's a hit. You just want to take it again? I'm just going to take it because, I mean, we can't really burn it. Face down. Hard sell is on two health remaining. Okay. Do you want to grab the medium range stick real quick? Yeah, I was just saying the same thing. Just to see if we might be in range, corner to corner. We'll be close. But not quite. Not quite, okay. So no shot from the quasar. Okay, so see our gun is such a on it. It is a navigation dial. We'll be doing flat first. Uh, the defender that's already in the midst of our We can roll that here real quick, it's just a blue. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it is a hit. Nice. So flacking has been effective. Yes. Down to two, almost raised to four. I'm like, that's not right. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to go the opposite way. That'd be great. Nice repair engine you get there, Buster. Do you want to down to two, stay at three, or go, try to go to four? Okay. Okay. All right, trying a very gutsy yeah, move here, four. speeding up to four with Sato, getting extra clicks at the one. There we go. From the nav, yep. See if he can squeeze by this hard cell. Oh, this is going to be close. 
And then we're gonna check the shield dials. Uh, Are you locked in? I'm locked in. Alright, so you can go and remove the remove that. Okay. Go and uh, if you wanna. I think we got it. I'm pretty confident here. I think you got it. Oh, look at that. You alternated them. Look at that. Nice. If you would have matched, you would have overlapped, but. Whew. Yeah. Alright. So I'm just gonna lift this up here so you Good can. Good playing. Good playing, Gribbles. Yeah, we're very impressed as the, we're like, hey, you guys have been learning. Good job. Years of observation. Yes. I have yes. Palpatine. He's tired of waiting. As they navigate to using the dial plus token to speed up to three, getting an extra click at the one, getting an extra click at the three from taking evasive action. Ready to face off mano a mano with the Patriot's Fist. All right, Patriot's Fist has a navigation. Now. It is at a medium, a long range, a medium range. Yep, we want to do soul turrets. Yep, doing soul turrets as we did this. We're right in the front. And coming into Palpatine. All right. All right. Here we got uh, four reds, and I'm guessing we're going to add in a black for swivel. Or yep, so you get four reds first. Yep. Then you get to add in two blue with Patriot's Fist, and then a dice from adjacent hole zone with swivels. So what would you like to add in? What is it? Four? Yeah, four red. Okay, so that's it. Two black. No, it's not two black. It's four red. Two blue with Patriot's, Patriot's Fist. Fist. And one from your adjacent. You want a red or a black for your. Just two black. Okay, I like it. So with that? That swivel mouse, basically, can take a die from a different hole zone and send it out front of the range. Yep. But the chase and whole zones have a permanent reduction. We're going to get 40 in sex birds. Yeah, we're going to get 40 in sex birds. Basically, this is currently tapping, so they have to untap that dildo. Alright, so we got an accuracy. We got what we needed. So I'm pretty sure that's going to be the uh, brace. This is what we got so far. Yeah, we're going for 40 in sex birds. So we're on the back for 40 in sex birds. There we go. Nice. I think that's all the dice mitigation that we get to do. Yep. Okay. Oh, Max Martok has a new one red. Because you have shield. Yep, because you're attacking a whole zone has shield. Is it a red or any color? It just with one red die. Okay, well. Okay. Alright, so there's that. Uh, so is that six no. damage? Yes. Alright. Yep. Redirect with advanced projectors. Yep. Just disperse it across the shields. I think we have baited getting double R tier. Yeah. Yeah. See if they catch the corner, but it'll yeah. be it'll be tight. But I think you might have. You have line of sight down the dot. Oh. oh, we might have caught the corner. Yeah. Well, that was just so close. I thought for sure you'd be. But it is yeah. a large after base. You, after you talked to me, after large, you pointed yeah, out, because yeah. I was looking at just that corner, yeah. after you pointed out the width, I thought, you're yeah. going to be able to get out? Yeah, I don't think there was a way. Only, forgot to mention it on the uh, CR90 with Leia. They changed Akbar's dial to a nav using Leia. Makes sense. So we're doing a nav dial. We're going to go ahead and spend our squad token. I believe, yeah. and we're going to send in our slippery fish uh, to go lock down some some bogeys. And then Tycho. Uh, I think so. That's what we're doing. We're going to lock down that squad ball there. In fact, we're going to get. Uh, do you want to come at the front, or do you want to come in the back to lock down? I think you can reach the back. Yeah, so yeah I don't think we can. Oh. But we could come in there. right here. Yeah. And, and then there's three, there's three more coming after us. So you want to come in the front? Yeah, he's gonna have less room. Well, if you go here, you lock down these two too. Squadrons mm -hmm. don't um, block line of sight with Mr. Flash. They do not. No. He hasn't activated, so I say we stay out of range one of him. I don't want to take four extra guys for no, no reason. So I think they come in here. There, inside there is what they got. Yeah, I think they come here. What do you think? Unless we go on the other side of the uh, guard cells or something. But you only need one, so we want to. So we can get on the attack too. Right. But these are all. No, but the one right next to them first, and then we. Yeah, we, we could do that, and then we forget the rest of our guys, and we could get Sh Char in there too. Yeah. So you have them attack. And then or do we activate a vulture droid? 
and get oh. three dice plus a reroll. Because he doesn't get a reroll, she doesn't get a reroll. You're rolling 50 50. Right. I think we activate the vulture, bring him up, squad right. face, come over here. We already did the wounded one, right? Yeah, I think so we, so they are unwounded, yeah. I think we gotta activate him because best chance of killing that guy mm -hmm. is gonna be this. Yeah. But if we I I yeah. rather rather use the vulture try. Okay, you rather use the vulture? Personally. Which one has the reserve hanger deck? This one? Yep. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah, we kill him and then we just move him close to reserve hanger deck and bring them for later. I that's all you can shoot move. Yep. Yeah, so we are in range to activate, so we're going to activate. Can you install the command control yeah. software on the yep. uh, so defiant? Yes, two, two black. Two black, two blue. Yeah. Two black, two black blue. one blue. All right, ready? One hit, yeah. get a swarm reroll. Re yeah. I'll take out the hit there, so. I recommend we reroll the black. Yep, yep. it is one hit. Yeah. Yes. Okay, got it. Thunder goes down. Nice and That vulture will move, and uh, so will Akbar. Looks like we can want to oh, make a circle, actually. Yeah, you could. You could just about lock down everyone. You good with that? I'm good with that. As far as you know. The only thing you're not locking down, maybe, is that. No, I think we're not locking him down anyway. He has grit. So. No, 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 no. He must down. Oh, that's right. Our guy has yeah, grit. Yeah, our guy has grit. You. Yeah, those two. Oh, down. you're right. Just down. Yep. So this guy's locked down now. So you don't get the back one? No, don't. no, but you're getting He's one. one you get right now. But we still have the squad phase. Yeah. Yeah. Then Akbar's movement. Uh, Akbar is going to try to flag somebody. Get from range. Yeah, he should be on range. Oh, okay. I'm going to roll the, uh, what is it? Two blue? Or is it blue black? It's two blue. Unless there's uh, any other valid targets. I don't think so. Do you have any other things that you like add on to your black one? Um, no, 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 turn four is going to be key turn. Uh, two oh, hits. Nice. So the flat, the flat gunners at least on this, yeah, on this ship, on this ship are, very well done. Yeah. All right, then movement. Right, so I think, uh, if it were me, stay at probably, it is you. <laughs> True. 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 Well, I think Thrawn's gonna have to come. There's no way these spiders are gonna be able to clean up. They can't. You think so? Yeah. I'm not. They'll, they'll take out the they'll take out the beast bird. Yeah, but that's not the command yeah. ship. Right. It doesn't matter. Really. That's, right. that, that's he's an escort. Yeah. Yep. He's doing his job. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. If you want to do that, and do that. So we put them in a very precarious position because we did. If they want to activate first, go for this kill, or try to resolve this pickle yeah. over here. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. No, I say, I say you, you got it. I think you got to go right here. You want to go like this? I think so. I think you, you got it. Yeah. I can see what you're saying. That way you want to do. I have to. Think you can flag up the front, and then we can shoot out the side still at Thrawn because Thrawn has to come in. Just with no Akbar. But yes, right. correct. Yeah. But you're getting Martuk and Sato. You guys right. have triple yeah. commander. Yeah. Trying to coordinate their logistics together. So we go with this. I'm getting ready to lock it. That guy told me it's going to trip. It's going to be hard. I think that will clear us from oh, running into any. There's nothing here. Yeah, it's a good maneuver there. Yep. Good maneuver. All right, squad phase. We're just going to do it now. There's only a couple more left to move. Yeah. Got some key ones here for the Empire. Here is. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, you'll be shooting. Definitely. Okay. Here's some instructions, but there's only one instruction. Yeah, right. I'm cool with receiving three red dice, maybe four. So we have two rebel and two imperial. And there's a tripod way back there. But, but we need to move R2 first. Is it victory if you kill one of our admirals, or are you gonna kill? victory, yes. Oh, so you gotta kill one. Yeah, we need to kill all of them to get a total victory. Oh. And well, for you guys to get a total victory is to escape with all, yeah. or a pyrrhic victory if you escape with at least one. Right. So it's like going for, it's like if, it's like a 6-5 compared to a 10-1. Right. 
Yeah. So I don't think we're going to get the 10 to 1. I think he may be in trouble. No, he's in trouble. Unless I whiff. Have you all seen Ben Dykes? Uh, I have whipped quite a bit. A Not using a single accuracy, two shots in the ad bar with leading shots last weekend. <laughs> Couldn't luck down your brace with two advanced gunnery shots. Yeah. <laughs> Still making it accuracy. Yeah. Uh, some, some salt in the room. And then <laughs> well, and it says I was stupid and didn't move Jonas in like I could have. Yeah. And just got myself yeah. free accuracy. Not really. No, no. So, um, Escort possibly over here, but I don't think I need it. I really don't want the escort. I'm thinking move him just over here. Mm -hmm. And then move him where he's at. Well, I can go anywhere I well no, I, I, we want him jumping up and locking down Shara. Oh, we do not want Shara coming in here. Oh, okay. And Shara, okay, he's got to move Shara. She counters back for three dice and crits count as hits. Oh, got it. If she gets in our squad ball, it is going to be yeah, absolutely yeah. nasty attrition to try to kill her and get her out of there. So, yeah, we just need to fly up and lock her down. We can't lock Tycho down, but Tycho is easy to kill with defenders. We have to, but Shara is going to be a real pain. So I can actually. We didn't anticipate put it right uh, there. Then going first in the squad yeah. phase, we should just yep, move our push. Yep. We should move Tycho out. Well, you, you still can move Tycho. You still move Tycho. Yeah. True. Well, you should, I'll, I'll just say from my perspective, you should have you Shara attack the defender, then move Shara out. Into yeah. the squad I just, I've seen yeah. Shara whiff though. She does. Like, if you were to roll a hit. Yeah, that is true. Three to two, that is true. Yeah. I guess we got a flag. And you did, and you did need the yeah. swan reroll. Yeah. yeah. But flag happens after the squad. Yeah, so right. you guys so, yeah. had, and you guys did need the swan reroll. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't yeah. think so. You know yeah. what? I want to make it a juicy turn. I'm going to put it right here. Just, just to make them think about it. Yep. Yeah. So, right here, trying to lock everyone down. Actually, no, I was wondering if I could lock this. Well, I guess it's locked up until it dies. So I'm guessing Tycho can then shoot. Then it. Move now, but don't get Zertic too far away like, because so I might use Zertic with Thrawn. Yeah, you gotta move right there. What do you use? Well, just so for the. Uh, you know, oh, so oh, yeah, 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 use your squad right commands there. on these yes. guys more, just in case I need, you know, plenty of range. Yeah, right, yeah. Right, yeah. Right, need them. I think. I see what you're saying. Well, we'll wait. Okay. We'll wait for the two all right, we're just going to keep this live for squads. So uh, you guys have all the rest of your squads. You got a tri theater off in the distance. You guys can see right off there in the distance. And then we got Shara and Tycho they need to make decisions with. Shara's locked down, but Tycho, as you guys know, can never be locked down. So they have potentially choices to make here. Well, Princess Leah's here. Oh, shoot. I think we just commit to killing the Ty D. Yeah. And because if they don't activate this first, he's gone, which means we're going to get an activation to fly some more stuff. Alright. Uh, and we've got one ship that can, as a one dial for the beast. Mm -hmm. So I think we're going to be fine. I think we just commit to killing the Thai Defender. Alright, so you want to start with Shara first? I think so, because especially if they uh, were within. Okay, so we're not in medium range there, so that does complicate a little bit. Have we got a squad token anywhere that we haven't used? No. Looks like you've used all of them. Okay. Yeah. So we can't get one at first. Yep, but we want a dog. But, um, yeah, I think we have to go to both A wings. You want to commit think both A wings here? I think it's the only Oh, we have these guys over here, too. Right? Um, We've got one tri fighter. Which I don't think we want to. I think we need him up here. Well, I mean, here's an option. What? We just fly him over here. Within here, then you activate him. Turn one, fly him into there. Yeah. Um, so I think we've got options. The question is, is. Uh, um, Are they good options? Yeah. That is an activation range. Yeah. So you use the 
butt of a bomb. Right? Yeah, I guarantee a Thrawn dial's coming up, and I guarantee it's squadron. Oh yeah. And what gives you that idea? He's gonna bomb. Why would you think that? He's gonna bomb there for some. Uh, so when we can't lock him down, nice. Which I think we can move him, lock him down. Kills the tri fighter. So because we'll just keep him locked. Hmm. There's light up to it. We'll just keep locked in. Wait, is that Merrick? No, Merrick's way over here. I'm just making sure. All the tri fighters in the world. Yeah. Yeah, I would uh, uh never send Merrick out by himself <laughs> without Jinden. <laughs> He's got Scatter, and he's got Brace. So this is the question we have to ask ourselves. If they go first, this is going to activate first. He just has to, or else this guy's gone. Right. So guaranteed, you guys are going to activate that ISD quad. If you don't, I'd call you a little crazy. But, uh, so that means we are going to get first yeah. shot here. So which means this thing can flak, right? And then potentially fly away. Mm -hmm. But if it flies away, and it's going to bring all, drag all these fighters with it, right? But it also gets to shoot. We can destroy the carrier. It could shoot the design thing. Nah, I'd probably go for the carrier. You go for the carrier, but it's destructive. That's all right. It's got a shield. Um, I, I think we can put Tycho up in the middle. You want to commit Tycho now? Yeah. They don't have anything else to move, really. You know, the fighters, right? It's all you guys. So, so you want to commit Tycho into the, the fray? Yep, yeah, because he can slip out of there anyways. Mm -hmm. Unless you can't get Shara in there. But we can't get Shara anyway, because... So let's either kill that guy off and get the Shara to move. Well, you're not going to be able to. It's impossible. I'm just saying. Wait. But yeah, there's nothing you're not going to be able to do enough. Sh you can't kill him now to get Char to move now. Right. Yeah. Make it easier for Char to move later. Yes. Right. If you guys roll perfect, you will kill it now, but Char won't be able to move. Right. And neither will Tycho. They'll be there. Does he have grit? Yes. Jonas has grit and Merrick has grit. Okay. Yes. And we didn't lock either one of those down, so it's only. The only thing that we're benefiting here is we're locking one more tight fender down. Right. That's it. Which isn't a great deal. Of anything. Yeah, I think it could. Just have to plan it in here for him. Do some shield moving around. Yep. What we can do is get another one of these guys in the ship. Um. Well, do you want to do the A wings on that one? I mean, I, I think so. Because the only other thing is that if Tycho or, um, or Tycho moves up there, that means that that um, Vulture is going to spawn. True. I'm fine with that. I, I can go either way on it. But I think this guy's probably going to die from him. He'll get he's going to have to shoot him. Oh, yeah. He's and you'd be crazy to shoot at this guy. So that's probably not as good as maybe trying to clear this dude out. Yep, yeah, we'll try. Just do it. I really don't know. Then if we get shower free, they'll just keep sending him over there. That's just one less they'll have. We'll do attrition. So we're just going to shoot? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Alright, let's just shoot it up. Alright. So Alright, what's going to do right here? Who you shooting with first? Do you take it first? Let's do Shara. Alright, Shara. Alright, she's coming. Semi curse with Shara. Oh, <laughs> oh the Chris. Captain Grand Defense. Oh. The other guy. Another one have swarm? Tycho gets one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, A Wings don't have swarm for some reason. I don't understand. Yeah, I don't understand. Yeah. I guess the big car. Yeah. Alright, and that is it. We have a tri fighter to move. I'll show you where he moves afterwards, and we'll be back at the start of round four. That was Round four, take a base of action and Thrawn Squadron Command going out to the entire fleet. The lone tri fighter that had yet to move moved over here to lock down this defender. Yeah, I knew it was one of them. And 
Choices to be made on both sides. Thrawn has the advantage to move first, but multiple choices, because multiple Separatist rebel commanders are in range to get into the back line and then hopefully survive to round six or just fly off the board to escape this blockade. The carrier has a engineering, which he'll take a token on. Yep. And he will activate the squad dial that he got from Thrawn. And uh, first thing he's going to do is activate the Lambda shuttle. Who's going to give the command to this unit it's here? It's steel, best bet. Eric steel to shoot. And then a bunch of other stuff's going to happen, guys. I'll try to describe as best I can how squads are moving and attacking. Because order of action. Jack and tell Eric to attack. This heart still has two health remaining, no shields on the side. We got two and criticals, but I can. No, we got an accuracy, and then uh, well, you don't even. Do we want to reroll? We don't need to reroll. Merrick back to a crit, and I think just stop the redirect. Well, maybe it's been the day. Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Positive? Oh, okay. No, no. Okay, structural damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Reroll. Twice now that's happened. No good. Good shooting. Okay. All right, so now let's move Jenden. Yeah. Move the lambda. Move the lambda. Well, so far, this this uh, hard cell's been able to evade a defender coming in on its tail. All right, do you want to do Merrick next, or do you want to do uh, somebody else next? Uh, let's see. So we use now the redirect. Yep. Yeah, well, we use one of the evades. Or the evade. The evade. Like yeah. Let's uh, let's let this defender go. Yep. Yeah. Generic defender that is not being touched by the vulture squad. That's just a blue, right? Yeah, just a blue. No way. Hit. Hit. What do you do? Reroll it? Or do you use your shield thingy to move it around? I think, so Jonas, the bomber, only has a black, correct? Yes. So you can use a brace or a redirect on that 100%. What brace is that? Well, it's got a hit. It's got a hit. Got a hit, hit. 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 So, we direct them, or do you want to take the damage? I don't think we want to. We only have two health left. And, uh, let's redirect the energy and fly. So, let's just work again. this. If Jinjin goes next, they're going to get an accuracy. Right. So, at that point, they're going to lock down probably the, the redirect. All right. I would think, because the other one's going to be a crit, right? And they wanted to go through on that side. Mm -hmm. So it's either we burn. Yeah, there's not really a good option here. No. We, I mean, we could do the redirect, and then we could. Like, we may want to move that defender down. Right, if you want to stage him back. Yeah. Oh. Let's see. Yeah. Here. yeah. In preparation for next round. Yeah, the defender that just tacked guys. It's on. That was uh, not locked down by the vulture. We're moving him back. To a stage for round five. You want to redirect? Okay. So redirecting to the front. Redirect to the front, we say. Front shields go down to two. All right, then who do we want next? Buster, do we want to do Jonas next or Merrick next? <sighs> I'd say Jonas. Jonas? Yeah. All right, coming in with the black. Force him to spend something. Hit crit. Oh, oh, oh. Jonas coming in. If you do the evade and then roll that again, it's yeah. 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 Oh, we already know that. Yeah, but they still get have their grace redirect, so they can see the result of the evade first. Yeah. But they would still then make even more tough well, choices. I think we redirect. So we burn the redirect? I think so, because I mean, we're sitting on the nose, and then we can guarantee the next time. Yeah. The next time that you know you right. don't want to use your accuracy, which right. You, then you don't have one damage, and then we could yes. burn the evade if we actually needed to with mm -hmm. some crit and think bring a shirt for damage. And I think we need to do the. Uh, okay, so let's burn the redirect then. Okay. Thank you on the front, Valley, or the yeah. 
to in the front. All right. Shields down in the front, so it's going to move Jonas. Yeah. Yeah. Jonas is four, correct? Yep. He can probably be right next to that defender. All right, then Merrick. Yeah, I guess Merrick be the one four. I think we do Merrick because we don't want to kill that vulture yet. Because whenever no, they we, we have one kill this before the vulture. Yep, yep. So I think we want to do Merrick. Or do we want to send Zertik in? Maybe we send Zertik in. Just Merrick might. To see what Merrick can do and then see what we're at. Alright, so Merrick on his actual activation to lose. Let's see what he can do. Let's see if he can tie down. Just we can tie down the, the evade. The we can at least get an internal. So okay. let's get some. Good accuracy here. Accuracies, accuracies. Oh. Alright, so this is what we can do. So we got that. That's nice. We are in Bomber Command, so we can reroll one of these to try to get an accuracy. We could. Right now he could brace that down to one. Yep. Or, or, we, or we could double crit this with Merrick. Give them a choice. And, we'll if, it, what and, it, and if it's a straight... Yeah, and it, yeah, rolling that is no problem because yep. we can turn it no matter what. So we can just yep. see. So, so we're Bomber Command. Bomber Command. Yeah. That's that go. that way anyway, so crit crit. So do we wanna and There's nothing else we can do with that. Yeah, yeah. unless we change that to a change it to a crit? Uh, yeah. No not to oh, can we only change it to a crit? We yeah. can't change it to an accuracy. Can't change it to an accuracy. That would be awesome if Mir could yeah. basically change his face yeah, into whatever he wants. Oh that'd be awesome. So they can either have us re roll or they can just brace it and take one crit. Yeah. Or do both. Or do both. Or do both. Or do both. Yeah. yeah. But that'd be burning the re roll away. It's your yep. it's your call. Do we need more command for Yes. Maybe. Yeah. We have well, one we've, more. Got, we've got another we've got two, what, one more. Yeah, one more. more. Yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so uh, I think we'll brace and then we go. Well, we'll so just brace. Just brace only? Mm -hmm. You do the re-roll first before you decide uh, before this. We're in the re-roll. So re-rolling one. Which one? Doesn't matter. Yeah, one more. <laughs> it's a hit. Brace. Brace. Yeah, brace. Take one crit. Yep, if it's structural, it's over. It's over. Please. ruptured engine. If you're going faster than one, you suffer damage when you move. So, well, I think uh, we'll move move Merrick away. Yeah, and I think we can just let it leave it to its own devices. Or, well, they can take the damage on shields. I think we send Zertik over outside the range of the vulture and let Zertik get the kill. He just needs a hit. Yeah. He's not a bomber, so it's just going to be a straight up black dice roll. And he's got plenty of room. Yeah. And he can go to the front too. Going to the front if we want him to. Yeah. Yeah. The only thing we need to make sure is he's not in range of the vulture. So we got to make sure of. Yeah. Unfortunately, Zertig is not a bomber, so we don't get bomber command on this one. So it's going to be uh, straight, up. straight up. What happens? This is the fifth. Yeah, this is the fifth. Okay. I guess in hindsight, we should have sent the slippery fish out to make sure we locked everything down. Yeah. Okay. Let's uh, roll. Survey says. It is a hit. You can half it. Yes. Would you like to brace that to a half? Yes. All right, so we, the hard cell does get taken down, and I think if at that point, I think we just keep the quasar at zero. Yeah, because we're still. We, we'll take a long range two red dice shot from uh, Jaina's light, but no big deal. Out of range of Akbar. Yep. So, I'm okay with that. Yep, so Quasar staying at zero. Yep. Staying at station keeping, ready for Sato to fly into our trap. All right, right Sent being activated. It's a concentrate fire dial. Okay. Okay. And you have to double up. Oh, sorry. We'll be using that for you. Yep. Oh, double R. Using that. Yep. Oh, yeah. I'm going to get you double R to my front first. Okay. Whoops. On the dice tray. Yeah, I'm going to reroll that. Yep. And then they had to take one out to the swivels. Still same thing. Okay. And not con firing? No, not on this roll. No, this is under the front? Yep. Yes. Uh, just because you will probably get your action to lock it down, I'm just going to brace that and take it on the front. So one? Yep, just one down on the front. So front shields go down to two. Should be going down to two. Yep. Then the front shot, four reds, two black, and so I'm guessing adding in a black. <laughs> From your souls? Yep. And the confire is. Oh, so we don't get blue because uh, you're close. Yeah, you don't get Patriots. Yeah. Yeah, it's a medium to long. Yeah. yeah. So we do want to 
do the dial for this one, correct? We're gonna add another right. black, or do you wanna oh, wait until we roll the base? Yeah, you can wait till after you roll. Yeah. Okay. Not a bad roll. No accuracies right now, but unfortunately, you guys don't have any red dice mitigation, do you? No, I'm not sure. Not on this ship. Okay, so now you get to add one in for swivels. Don't get the. Uh, let me do one assist right now. You can do. I would recommend well, that you add all your dice. Yeah. yeah. You want to do another black? Yeah, we could do the. Or we could do the blue for a black or something. Or is this the swivels? Can, or well, we can't. Can we cannot have, have a blue. We don't have a blue linear. Oh, yeah. I think we do black because yeah. if it's a blank, we can re-roll it. Right. And he could spin his brace, but yeah. un unlikely. Unlikely. Well, nice. Great. Nice. And then concentrate fire. Yep. Yeah. Well, con. Oh. oh. Wait, what? No, no, just concentrate fire dial. You can oh, add a dice. Is one of those black already from this one? Yeah. Yes. No, no. So that was a swivel. They start with four red, two black. Oh. Swiveled in a black from yep. the side. Now they have concentrate fire to add in another dice. Is it going to add in a red or a black? Red or a black. Or red I said it's going to add in a black. Yeah, correct. Yes. Go big. All right, so here's now, our experts. ordinance experts. Going to roll our two blanks. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Oh, and what were you going to spend, by the way, to take this shot? 32. Oh. Second one. Yeah, we're going to do... Uh, we've got a second shot. They did a date on the first shot. Oh. Now, the second oh, shot. Oh, shot. Oh, yeah. So love about Palpatine. Even if you cue him out with the sound, yeah, that's we only got one. Extra. Right. Yeah. So oh, one, two, three, eight. Eight damage on Uh, yep. Two, four, six, eight. I'll yes. go and burn the brace to four. And uh, just disperse it. Uh, actually, it'll be all the shields down except the rear shields. So just take all four together. Oh, yep. Just add any more red dice. Add shields there. All right, Mark two. We're rolling it, or are we just saying? Go ahead. Yeah, go and roll it. It's not going to change what I'm doing. Just do that if I still have a. Well, now it oh, does. Now it does. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you guys get to stop the brace. Uh, yeah, I think yeah. that's the one we want to stop. Yep. But that changes everything. Yeah. No, that's fine. Okay. So, still doing the full. So drop all the shields, Buster. Drop all the shields. Yep. So I had five shields to drop. Yep. Then I will in. contain. So three face down. Starts where I can take that. So we didn't want that Marta just basically did that. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay. Just as you guys know, for the, if you're just not watching game, we're doing this casual game. We're not playing tournament rules here. Make sure you get all our cards, get to do everything, all that good stuff. You know, which way the rollers are supposed to go. Oh, yeah. Like. yeah, on the more compact one, since they actually reverse each other instead of both going the same direction. Yeah. Let's take it a little bit get, get used to it. It's nice. No, I, I do like the more compact design. Mm -hmm. Zero, then two. Then so what's the plan? Two, you you want to keep skirting this, try to avoid the double arc? Or we want to try to come come this way? We're going to get both of them. Well, we don't want to put ourselves here. No. Because then this is a problem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very big one. Uh, so we probably want to try to... I love it when, when my opponents fly between two of my service players. <laughs> <laughs> Come on in between them. It's like Aaron Akbar likes to fly between two, two MC80s, too, right? I, I did that plenty with Aaron. Yeah. I, I couldn't play Aaron's skill boxes. Mm -hmm. This is good training. Yes, it is good training oh. to learn what not to do. I think that's mm -hmm. pretty good. Mm -hmm. I think we'll only do one arc on this, say, uh, Kuat, and then we'll be long range. Yeah. I, I'm good with that. Are you good with the obstruction too? Yeah. Yeah. Are you good with this? I'm good with that. Yes. Yes. Hey, Buster, can I have a minute right there? Yes, you can. Thank you. Mmm, good maneuver. No, well, we are good. He does have double R's. So uh, maybe. Not a good maneuver. The back mark. Oh, or? is the front getting you still? Yeah, I'm still. And the black, check the back. I don't know what it's going to be. Front 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 front. No, front 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 
Activate this defender to attack this tri fighter. No more expanded hangar bays or um, reserve hangar decks, mm -hmm. so we can avoid that. And yes, I know all of you guys are saying, hey, you should have taken external rack spin. Yes, I know. But I'm just being stubborn for my final Thrawn game. I like expanded launchers, even though they're terrible. So, first, the defender under the tri fighter. Uh, got it. Four damage. Wow, that defender has been on fire. <laughs> yeah, counter two. Yeah, counter two, though. Yep, counter two back. Two blues. Oh, that's the first casualty over here. It is, because yeah. the other one got rezzed. Two hits. Two hits back. Yeah. Nice. It's down to two. Yeah, right, right, right. yeah the trap back over my station. And I'm just going to fly this defender back and land him on the station to heal one. Boom. Yay. Nope. Yeah, <laughs> and now the side to side broadsides. Even though this ship is not good at broadsiding, <laughs> do have one shield there that I raised with my engineering token. Actually, I will take that, and I will leave that as is. Probably going to salvo me. They might burn their salvo. We'll see. Of course, we'll keep racing. Yep, five damage. Brace down to four yep, three. And then shields, probably. And shields, okay. Is that what you guys want to do? And I think we'll redirect though. I think we're gonna need it on the other side. Yeah. Maybe. But I bet he's gonna get an accuracy, so he's just gonna lock down whatever's green, so you might as well just spend it all now, I think. But we just damage that down to three? Yeah. Yep, so beyond the shields, if it'll drop the shields to zero if you don't burn if you don't spend the redirect. So if you just brace your port shields go to zero. What are we gonna redirect to? The rear? He's gonna be shooting us. Right. At the rear, I, I don't think we spend it. No, I don't think we're gonna spend it. Because we'll just take out two of the shields right now. Okay, and then are you going to burn your salvo to shoot back? He's only down like two one. dice. He's got how many no, damage? Mm -hmm. Yeah, three damage. He's taking three damage. I have 11. Eight health. Yeah. And you have shields on that side? One shield. I raised one shield. No. I haven't moved the dial yet. I don't think so. Okay. And so not burning the salvo. Which one to one? Um, the side on the Star Destroyer up to one. Yeah. And then the tri fighter that's directly in front of my Star Destroyer, you guys can't see it, but just gonna flack real quick at it for nothing. All right, I'm staying at speed three using the NAD to take the base in just to get all the clicks. I'm turning around and come chasing after Ekbar. Princess Leah is on her way off the board. So, Sierra 90 is a squadron dial. Okay. And uh, we will be using it. Uh, I'm going to use that CR, that uh, droid vulture right there. Uh, no. let, let's tokenize. Because. Uh, yes, no, we we'll tokenize it for Leia. Yep, and we're also going to change the top dial of the MC80, which was the engineer token, to a squadron, squadron dial. dial. Okay. And tokenizing that. Oh, and Leia just being all annoying. Now, don't forget our uh, twin link. Turbo laser tower. Yeah, this time. Really do some damage. We keep forgetting our add-ons here. Yeah. So we get twin link. Do you want to do this tie defender? Because yeah. if we do the tie defender, oops, sorry. Those guys names, right? Yeah, this guy's names. He's, he's, he's got a brace. He's an escort, but doesn't matter. Not not for flacking. Yeah, not yeah. for flacking. Yeah. Right. So, so yeah, we'll do that guy right there. Okay. So blue and two reds. Okay. And are you guys going to be taking a shot at the quasar? Yes. Yeah. Yep, yeah. Matter. Yeah. So you get two reds. Two reds. By front or side. And are you long or you're being That's long. Long. Okay. Yeah. And then you have a shield. More took a stab us. Yep, get a red die. No red die. Okay, so three red die. Yep. Do we want to shoot the front or do we want to shoot the side? Probably the side. Actually, can I get this one? Oh, yeah. Easy. Yeah, you got line of sight yeah, to front and side right. and range to front and yep. side. Okay. Yeah. Got the side. We're going side. side. Go for the side. All right. Okay. So it's two. two hits and a crit. Do you want to link LTT for an accuracy? Probably just leave it as it is, huh? Because it doesn't make any difference. Yeah, we all, we are at speed zero. Yeah. Oh, you're at speed zero. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Made difference in not having LTT. So. Wow, well, you're gonna take a crit. Crit face yep. up. Crit face up. And survey says no spoilers. Social damage. Do one face down. Oh, yes, that's fine. Mm -hmm. 
He says that's fine. Well, we'll just put that one face down once you take it. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, and then we're going to flag. Yep. So starting with the blue into the defender. Yep. It's a red one. And then two reds. Adding two reds with the laser towers. Just one. One hit. One hit. All right. From the defender. Oh, yep. Hey, we want to oh, wow. Oh. You're trying to ram. I mean, we, we could try to ram. They want those spell spiders to eat everybody alive. Well, I mean, they're going to eat you alive anyway. Yeah, I know, but if, you go, you can do if we go for a ram, that's an extra damage we take ourselves. That's true. Yeah. And then the fighters. That's a good start. Yeah. So, I mean, I think, I think that's a good strategy. Yeah, I'm thinking it. Yeah, Quasar's, only got, Quasar's only got four health left. Shields are down yep. right. on that side. Fly right into that. I mean, I like it. I like. I think it's a great plan. Yeah. Yeah. The problem is, is they position right. I just don't know if we have the uh, firepower with the turns remaining to take. Akbar out. Be close. But that's definitely double arc right now. So it's possible it Akbar is. might not make it to our deployment zone. It'll be moving. True. Depending how they maneuver. Sure. Hey, now it's only a speed two. So the Gazanti activates maneuver as. Hard stop! Wait, you're stopping? And yeah, park behind the asteroid. What? Why would you do that? Do you just want me to shoot and blow it up? Yes, I'd love you to shoot that no, instead of Thrawn. No, don't. Shoot this big ship right here. Yeah, yeah. shoot Thrawn actually. And don't shoot yeah. the zero ship that's a squishy, easy kill. That's Please. hiding behind an asteroid. Yeah. So we're we're just parking on an asteroid there. Yeah, we do. I do not want to be your beast of burden. Squadron dial. So we're going to activate uh, this droid right here. Yep. Ultra Droid uh, with AI will be adding in a black. And it's got the swarms so wearing the reroll, so a blue and two black. We'll just do it live here, guys. Uh, <laughs> oh, wait, does it have swarm? It does. It does. Why? Because he has swarm, and all swarm requires is that another friendly squadron is engaged with the squadron. Oh, not one with swarm. Right. Yeah. Okay. Oh, no. Currently one, yeah. then you get swarm yeah. reroll. There you All go. right, so then it goes down to three. If only the A wings would have done better. No. Yeah. <laughs> if only Shara knew actually had to offensively attack. She knows how to defend herself. Yes. Doesn't know how to offensively attack. Okay. And then uh, what are we going to do? Did you say you guys revealed a, a squadron? Yep. Squadron. Uh, transport gets two. But we can't. Oh, we do. Oh, we could have been Shara. Sure. Uh, you can Shara if you want. Okay. Everybody's friendly here. All allies intermixing. Mm. Multi-affection yeah. collaboration. We might as well try to show Breaking all the rules. Breaking all the rules. Or we get extremely lucky and activate him, yeah, get three good. shots, then fly away. He's not going to be He won't be in range. Yeah, but not of her, but of Akbar. Of Akbar, yes. Yeah. I don't think we, we need to do that. I think we let the dice assist in our decision making. Because Akbar's got three, and we've got three squadrons left to activate. Okay. Alright. Okay. Alright. Move it. His burden is moving at what? Speed one? one. Yeah. Do you want two clicks to the left or one click to the left? Uh, let's do one click to the left. I don't think. Sacrificial Rams. Speed rams, it's still, it's still, it's still yes. damage. Oh. Yeah. I just don't think we're going to be getting our front arc, you know? No. Do we just go with this or do we want to turn in? Wouldn't that be and do a laser shot and do stuff? I got Thrawn the Chimera. It's a navigate. I'll be using it. The Thrawn squad dial. Don't have any squads in range. Don't need a token. I already got one. So I'm going to execute the squadron command that use no effect. That's just so I can get Vonto's ability to take a nav token. And then we've got a long range side to front. And Patriot's Fist and a medium range. Front to front, from Chimera into Patriot's Fist. I start side to front. The Patriot's Fist is pretty much full health, just its port shields are down, but shields everywhere else are good to go. Ooh, very nice. Start. Three damage. Is it just two red dots on the side? Yep, at long range. That's your favorite. Side of the front, you said. Right. Yep, and I do have XI seven. So you only spend one. No. Um, so no, only one can move. Only one can move. Okay. So, so pretty much all damage is going into the front for both yeah. shots. You can direct with any that. Yeah, I just think you take it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, shields down. And then Thrawn orders forward firepower. Activate. Full engagement. Got an accurate.
here soon. We need nine. We don't have it yet. We have a leading shots reroll, so if we want to try to maybe spike this. And they can spend the rebate to cancel one dice, because no, to reroll. This is medium range. Six damage so far. I think it's worth doing a leading shots. Just to try to go for it. I mean, we're gonna get the crit wisdom, right? Yep. I'll say I'll save uh, this blue crit. Then I think spend this and just reroll everything. See if we get lucky. If we get more accuracies, we can lock some more things down. What do you think? Let's lock that right now. What could we do? Well, we, we have left. This is what, they have everything. Oh, they do. Okay. So the redirect doesn't matter. Do we want the brace. Brace and the evade. And the evade. Yeah. So we need one more. Yeah, I don't know. So I say reroll everything. See if we might get some doubles on the reds. Yeah, because they're there. They're just a risk it. Yeah, what, what can the blues do? Oh, yeah, we blues can go hits things. or accuracies. Yeah, okay. Just keep this here just for the yeah. crit. <laughs> so, all right, getting shots. Yeah. See if we yeah, can see like it. Say, two rounds of shooting, though. Yep. Shooting. Yep. Yep. Oh, 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 wow. Oh, and, oh, that's perfect. That's, that's, that's going to be good. I don't think we're going to kill it, but... <laughs> So stop the brace and the evade. That's going to be seven damage with the crit. So we need to redirect one. One. Yep. So it'll be six internal, first face up. First one face up. You ready? Yeah. Sure. Oh no! What? One? Oh, they have a. They're. Yeah, they're yep. They're on there. Yep. Yeah. So go ahead. Yep. We're ready to redirect. Let's take a look to see what the last attack charge. Yep. Yeah. Since we redirected, how many damage? Six. 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 First, Six. One, Six. First one to face up. So as long as it's not destruction, failure. If the whole zone has no remaining shields, you cannot recover shields. Oh, okay. That's okay. Recover shields. No recovery shields. Yep. And then five face down, two health remaining. And we could salvo. Yep, does you want to burn the salvo? I don't see what there is or anything out there at the moment. Take one more. Um, yep, five face down. Almost got it. But I'm so happy that I shot it. I don't think you want to on that shot. I mean, if you, if you want to, I think we'll be able to get into one. And this will be into the front. So you'll be at one red dice. That's your call. Whatever you'd like to do. Uh, no, we'll save the cell So that we were done. Yep, so no burning of t uh, defense tokens. Alright, I'm not gonna use that map Just gonna, or I could use it for the the click or take evasive action. It's the same difference. You can hard turn to the left, still staying on the station. And you guys get to place that defender. So we're doing a Akbar squadron dial. We got this vulture, and we got Tycho and Shara. So we'll do their squad activation. I'm just gonna take a picture and describe how their squad activations go because that's important. And also a picture lining showing you potential Akbar shots that they may attempt no, to do. So uh, Tycho attacked the defender, got one damage. Now we got Shara attacking next. See if she can improve her shooting. Yes. <laughs> or, oh, I won't touch your dice here. I touch those. You can yeah, yeah, pick yeah, out yeah, your yeah, yeah, yeah. own blue dice you want, so I don't curse them. Just throw it in that dice tower. Ooh, there it is. Shara made up for it. That means Shara's unlocked, so she can move. She can move. Yeah, she can help with the lockdown over here. Shara. You want to try to lock down on this type? Yeah, yeah, so you got Vulture Droid now with the AI. I don't think it's going to be able to get that guy. Yeah, well, at least he gets the shot. Yeah, so he could get flag out the front. He could. And then we wouldn't get an Akbar shot. Well, we don't worry. Let's, let's see what happens. You got nothing out the front of Yep. Well, if he wants to act for yeah, the vision, guys, they can only shoot out the side. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yep. Yeah. And we're still swarm here. Yep. Oh, okay. two hits so far. Swarm. Swarm. Mm -hmm. Three, yes, wow. three hits. All right. Yes, done. These are all yeah, all squad right. battle is becoming furious. That defender's down to two, I believe, yes, right? Yes, it is. All right, so now they have a choice. What? Actual ship shots, do you want to take? So we can take out the Byzanti, and that's going to deny them Bomber Command, which allows you to reroll your bombing yes. on right. ships, which is going to ensure... Yeah, well, it's going to help out. 
it's going to help out. Because, I mean, we're not going to one-shot, we're not going to take out these things. No, you're not going to take out the bond, yeah. I mean, what's he down? One, two, three, four, five. He has taken zero damage. Yep. No, Palpatine. Palpatine oh, has okay. eight health remaining. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, you know, I mean, I mean, it's a rare shot. I so, say we... Yeah. I go for, um... You want to flag up the front, and... So it's not going to be an Akbar shot. Well, do you think we need an Akbar shot? I mean, we're gonna have... You'll have five reds and a Defiance dice, because you're getting additional red from R2. And oh, no, I'm sorry, four reds and a Defiance dice, because of destruction. You want zero, right? So. Yeah, it's no yeah. defense. Okay. You need four damage. I don't think we need it with the Defiance dice. We'll, we'll throw a blue just for giggles, in case we totally whip on the reds and we can yeah, make a roll. definitely. We'll just throw that. But, uh, go for it. Take out the Gazanthi, and then just move on the road. Alright, so I'm flag out the front. Two health left on that defender, you get two blues. I think that's what we're gonna do. And yeah, two blues. And they get what they need. Do you want that, or do you want an Akbar? I don't see a reason why an Akbar needs to be down. Yeah, okay. I don't see that either. So. Yep, we're, we're live. Yep, so. Yep, double blue. Into double the blue. defender. Black another front. There it is! <laughs> nice. Nice. Their flag, Got some luck. Their anti squad has been on point. It has. It has Very been good. on point. Very All right, good. so we're going to. Um, you guys might want to check, want to check see if they're in range of Zertic. I don't think they are. Because you might get a flat shot of Zertic. Oh, yeah, good point. Oh, yeah. I didn't even see that. No. no. Very, very close. Yeah, that bump, it was that yeah. bump I did earlier. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was the bump. <laughs> All right, so now you see it to start with four red, four and you have red. to take one out, because I think Martuk is during the... Yeah, it's while attacking. While attacking, does a shoot. Yeah, so you do the four red first, yeah. take one out for obstruction. Okay, so Ooh, three, and then we'll add one later for yes. Martuk. Yes, Okay. Two, two damage, need two more, so you got a Martuk red. Need a, need a double or a crit in here. Another damage. Right. Now you got a defiance dice you can add in. If one more damage to kill this Gazan. What's the defiance dice? The alliance you can add whatever he wants, as long as he's attacking a ship that's already activated. You want it? Yeah, we'll do black. Well, blue is we got a. He has a better chance of winning. Yeah, and plus we get a reroll. Oh. I think. I think Just we in do. case you whiff. Right. I think we need the blue no, for leading shots. Right. No. Right. No, you're right. Good point. Yeah, to the blue. Alright, here we go. It is an accuracy, accuracy, so leading shots. Leading shots. There it is. Oh, Red, God. there it is. Yeah. So the wrist didn't pay off. Of course it did. That's okay. Prevent them from attacking Throng. Yep. But sacrificial Gazanti, they were trying to hide behind the asteroid in Ekwars. I'm just going to destroy the asteroid <laughs> and shoot through it. <laughs> so I guess I need to go probably beam line. No, they've they've been doing. We do a good anti-squad play. We do a we do a point squad level. Then we do a good one back here. Try fighter. Try fighter. Which is going to take a nice shot at the uh, little pot shot at Tuat. Yeah. What do you think about this? Just one click. I think I might be able to double arc the. And we're all doing all orthodox strategies. I mean, we have our Quasar and our Gazanti are at speed zero. Quasar has been at speed zero since turn one. Quasar's never moved. Yeah, Quasar's just sitting there. We're gonna move this out of the hole. This is squad base. It's a pot shot into the back of uh, of the Kuat. I think they get a blue on the tri fighter. Is it a black? Oh no, it's a red. Oh, it's a black on the tri fighter. Yeah, and it's even got bomber. I'm just kidding. Yeah, yeah. It's like, wait, what is this? What are these defenders? They don't. Hit. So, all right, going to roll a black. What do we got? Nothing, okay. Alright, so we will be back at the start of round five. Start of round five. Chimera has switched to intensify and it has been burned. Final Thrawn Command is a squadron. And so many decisions to make. Order of activation matters so much. The Quasar is at speed zero. But Sato is trying to run away, no shields on the back, and all these bombers waiting to attack. Akbar is in long range, coordinating with Martuk. But of course, over here, Martuk only has two health remaining. 
within side shot of the Chimera. No shields on the front. What was it you're about to say about the rebels? As it will, will the rebels be incarcerated into their rebel cells, or will they escape and join their rebel cells? We love our limericks on this it's channel. Ron, it is an engineering dial. I already have a token that hasn't been shot yet. So I'm, I am going to resolve it just so that Bonzo can give me a token, and I'm going to take give myself a concentrate fire token and get rid of my squad token. And then use the Thrawn squad dial to be activating this defender to try to, uh, well that's Char, isn't it? Yes. Mm -hmm. It sure is. Hmm. Sounds like a good thing. I, I think we're just going to do nothing with that. Thing. Yeah. yeah. Right. Just let them sit there and just uh, stare, off. stare off. And then we're going to start with a side to front into Martuk, and then start a long range pot shot front to side into Echo. Right, we'll start with a shot into Martuk. Two red, two blue, only two health remaining, no shield. But full defense <laughs> token. <laughs> oh, that's gonna that, be that's dead. Yep, because we still have to avoid well actually not necessarily. Yeah, you can, well, take one. You yeah. can make me reroll one. This is not over yet. Yeah. And you can redirect one. So I'm gonna reroll this with my con fire. Okay. Or actually no. I'm going to roll the blue, because we need an accuracy. Yep. Yes. Got it. So, well, not, necessar not necessarily. So, well, this is here where we decide what we need to lock down. So, I think... If we, so, if we lock down the brace... I, well, so, one thing, this is going to intensify. So, we got four damage coming in. So the brace is the same difference whether there's three or four. But if I lock down the brace now, they'll let us re-roll, obviously the double. If we get a hit, it's dead. If it comes up to a blank, then they live because they can redirect one, take one on the hall, and we hope it is a structural. But let's say you, uh, okay, so if we, re if we lock down the redirect, then they brace, then the they two, brace the two, still redirect one, and still take it on the hall. No, they can't redirect because we lock down the redirect. No, we don't, it's not, redirect's not locked down. I have XI sevens, so they can spend the redirect and still move it. I'm saying, but if you lock down the redirect. Oh wait a minute! Hang on! Hang on! Hang on! They have capacitor oh. failure. They can't spend redirect tokens if they have no shields. Oh, that's right. So it actually doesn't matter. Yeah. Was so yeah, brace? we'll stop. No, we'll stop the reader, the evade, brace the two. They only have two health. Okay. Because they can't redirect. They can't redirect. They can't. A critical, critical. Yeah. Critical, critical. Wow. That's it. Yep. But you guys, if you want to salvo in death, I'm guessing? Yeah, of course. Yep, so you get, you, it is a close range, so you get uh, red, black. And if we have a shield, uh, that would mean that we get an additional uh, You can never add dice to a oh, salvo. that's true. Yep, yep, I know that. Never add dice to a salvo. Okay. Ooh, not bad at all. Just take it on the side. Uh, We've got three shields. Yep, I'll just take it. Okay, yeah. and now the front shot long range into Akbar. And this is where Akbar will win this battle until we can close range. Ooh. No, I'll take that. <laughs> and then we will intent I no more mitigation I can do, but can intensify to five damage. Oh, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Brace and redirect and spin a contain the saddle back. Okay. Yeah, because the uh, reactive gunnery lets you spend a defense yeah. token of any type to oh, yeah, it. But it's a one time, you have to tap it. You know, so. Yeah, another card over there. Yeah, either way, he's getting an automatic crit no matter what he does. Yep, 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 yep. You got an accuracy. And, and then you can turn that to a crit. crit. Yep. And uh, what would you like to stop? I have uh, basically brace redirect, or a uh, foot redirect, so I have to take it on the front. Right? Sure. Because yeah. you can't block the braces. Yeah, right? the brace, it doesn't matter. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. and my salvo doesn't matter because I can't salvo salvo. Alright, using the nav token that I had to speed up to two. Doing a little side shuffle here. And actually avoided that debris yeah. field. Yeah. And then you get to play Shara and this defender. Yeah. <laughs> the next we're doing is the CR90. Send us up. 
the construct fire dial, which we will be using. We will be using Princess Leia's officer skill to change the MC80 top dial to a concentrate fire. Or what's this? We might need to keep that. Do you that. determine that whether you want to change it or not? Because you know your MC80 does not do so. Um, I've played her a long time. <laughs> so if you want that, your choice. Anything about that. But I'm going to do a front shot and a side shot, both in the center. That needs to survive. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't have shield protection. We're not going to drop Thrawn because he's got. Thrawn's mm -hmm. got advanced protectors. We're just going to leave it like this. Okay. We're not doing that. Not doing Leia thing? Alright. I don't think so. It's not worth it. Alright, we'll see. Can Jaina's Light drop a speed zero quasar? Because it doesn't really matter, and then we get a flak out of our side. I think we do the front first. Because they can't spend defense tokens. Yeah, but how much health does she have left? Four. four. Out of... Four. Four. Four, four. four, four health left. Four. 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 And so we do two... We got two reds and a blue right now. And then we, we can confire. I said we'd just go ahead and declare we're going to use a confire dial on this attack. Because if we drop it, then we can flack out the side. Plus we have LTT. That's true. I think... All right. I think the front first, then. So we're going to do the front first. We're going to commit the uh, confire dial to the front attack. Mm -hmm. And we're going front to your uh, port side. Yep. So there's an accuracy that didn't help. Very accurate curve. Now the LTT still. Let's first of all add another red curve. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah. Okay. Add another red. That's the touch rate fire. Yeah. Oh. Very very accurate. Oh. We got two accuracies. Oh. Yep. So we're working on it. Well, now I can die. Yeah, now we get to re-roll a red. That was oh. a team. Ooh, that could be enough. That could be enough. Yep. All right, so two, first one two picks crits. up. How's that enough? There's no way. There's crits. Yeah, well, for your side shot. Oh. Are you ready? ready? Yeah. Yep. It is a ship. It's not structural, but it's all that. And we can pick the one we want if it's tied. Yeah. So we'll do the starboard, and then next one face down. Face down? Oh, wait. Wrong place. Here we go. All right. <laughs> okay. One blue, one red, you one need two damage. Yeah, that was getting two accuracies there. It's the one that we didn't want. Did it? No. No. Leave two release to us, Blake! Yes! Oh my gosh! I don't believe it! Oh, I don't believe it! We rolled four accuracies. Oh my gosh! <laughs> what is that? Ooh. Oh my gosh. Uh, I, guess, I guess we should have lived with Akbar. That would have been the uh, uh, kill. That would have been the oh, kill. Oh, man. Unbelievable. Thing is, I got you right on our back. But, uh, we got yeah. Him. I can't believe it. No matter what we do, they're going to come together. Does that happen? No matter uh, what. Uh, I shouldn't have people away. Uh, sorry. Yeah, that was, that was very unfortunate. No matter what we do, they're going to get to there. So we have to do as best we can. Okay. Um, let's see, do you want to do the core? I can't take those jokes right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't take those jokes. I thought that thing was so dead. So did I. When you said that, I was like, I completely forgot about this doing the attack. I was like, oops. I was like, oops. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Quasar. Yeah. Oh. Quasar, uh, we were thinking about doing the Kuat now so that Akbar could destroy the Quasar before it could activate the squad. Yeah, we're not going to do her mind. Got an engineering token. The engineering so, dial with token. Uh, so with gonna token, get, so I'm going to yeah, secure as much as I can. It only gives us three. Three. It's not much. So what can I do with three? Can I do one in structure or should I do three shield? So the shot from Akbar is going to be into our front. front. So yep. I'd say heal a damage heal card. Yeah. So Healing That's a crazy. You roll... Six dice. Yep. Okay. And, and, and you reroll. And, and then I'm using the squadron with, activation. With, with two rerolls. Yeah. Two rerolls. Yeah. Yeah. And using the squadron activation. Yep. Thrawn doing I, the squadron I didn't, things. I didn't think that was possible for us, yeah. for you not to kill it. I was, yeah. oh my gosh. Oh well. So guys, we're going to try to come in and kill Jaina's light now. Sato is on there. Where's my... He has no shields in the back. But still, full defense tokens. This is my magic guy right here, right? Yes, that's yeah. Merrick. Yeah. Well, the good thing is we got rid of the bottom panel. Who's going to go first? Rolls. Yes, so these are all just so going to be straight up. the RNG will be uh, 
Well, well, wait, before you get, do you want to start with Merrick or start with regular yes. defenders first? Oh, you're right. To get them to spend. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Yep. Can I get any other? Well, there. That's locked down. So yeah. it's only these four. This yep. is it. Yeah, we only these need four. These are the four heroes. Although, I can activate that one. Oh, you can. And it's out of range, right? Yep. 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 So, I wonder what I can do with that. Where do we want to send that guy? Yeah, let's think about it. We'll, we'll save that. him for last. Yep. yep. All right. Okay, so starting with the defender. So we're just going to move one defender in. And I should just go to move a mall buster because it's not order is not gonna matter. We need all of them. Yeah. So that's true. <laughs> we're doing defenders first, then Merrick, then Jenden coming in to tell Merrick to attack. Well, then, then this so, escort. I'm sorry. One defender in yeah. Jonas. I'm sorry. I forgot. A Jonas bomber. Is back yeah, here. bomber's good. Oh yeah. What does the bomber do again? Accuracy. Um, when we do our single blue out the back, we can turn it to an accuracy. <laughs> with, our, with our quasar back shot. Really hoping. Really hoping to get some black dice swapping for uh, the defiance there. Yeah. But now I gotta shoot at a different target. Well, maybe. Oh, and the quasar will use its. Well, we'll we'll be able to quasar this round. We're your first player. We just and the quasar is going round. to yeah. use its token to yeah. speed up to turn. Yes, yeah, we're definitely speeding up with the token that we've been saving since round one. Yeah. <laughs> and I burned this mechanical yeah. dial yes. to go. You are speeding up, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Don't really do an right now. Yeah, well, yeah, we, I mean, we might. That, yeah. Oh, actually, we might no. hit that debris field. That's going to be a problem. No. But, oh, well. It's still, it, hey, it survived it's just long enough. Just long enough. Trailing yeah. smoke, debris flying off this. everywhere. It just needed to do All right, guys, we'll go to the tray and see what we can do against Jaina's light here. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yep. Okay, good. Like the confidence. Starting with Defender, one blue. Oh, I want to see all the really blues. Oh, my God. Just blow up for all. Okay. So. Well, here goes nothing. It's, it's a crit. crit. Yeah. So, guys, so there's no shields on the back because they moved them for auxiliary shields, too. Yeah, I think we just start. I see there you're. A reroll. Re re yeah. re re you have a redirect. You don't have a brace. No, we don't brace it. Which doesn't is that the one tie defender? Who is that? Just that was one tie defender. Then we have Jonas next, and then Merrick twice. Jonas is a bomber. Not, yeah, Jonas. Yeah, Jonas They're twice. Who's a bomber? They're all bombers. Yeah. So. I'm probably going to redirect. That's what I'm going to do. I think, that, I think that's fine. Yeah, let's do the redirect. Okay, so it doesn't matter which side, but we'll just pick one. We're going to be burning defense tokens all day long here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right, so then. Jonas next, one black. Okay. This is probably going to be a reroll. Good yep. crit, good crit. Yeah. Reroll, reroll. You sure? Plaza? Okay, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> good crit. Really? Yeah. I mean, can we burn the redirect? You can. And you got shields to burn it to. I mean, we, got, we have to. We have to. Hopefully, yeah. we can go longer. So you get we one can't get even lucky on the other guy. Man, RNG's been nice to you guys. It has. Yeah. Yes. At, at, the, at the later rounds, yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. Front, front, front rounds are kind of rough, but oh, later yeah, rounds are shields. Yeah. Run on the shields. So All right. The one on each side doesn't matter. There has to be one direction. Yes. Oh, this side. Yep. Yeah. 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 All right, now Merrick. Can Merrick do it? Still no damage on the hull. Nope. Only evades. And Double two blue. blue. Okay, here goes Merrick. Oh, so. So we don't want to, locking down doesn't matter. We need to force them to do reroll. So turn this to a crit. Yeah. So hit crit. Okay, yeah. we'll do the green one first. Yep, so reroll the crit, I'm guessing. Crit, yeah. Yes. Uh, I like that. That's worked for you guys three times now, rerolling his into a set yeah, help. Yeah. So one face down. One face down, looks like you got three more left. Yep, okay. so we need, uh, you need a crit. We need a crit and hope it, we need a hit crit or crit crit and hope they don't reroll into a blank. Yep. We get a structural and this. Yep. Oh, Although we do have a back shot coming from the quasar. Yeah, that's true. That would just be insulting. <laughs> oh. So crit. we'll turn that to a crit, crit, crit. crit, crit. Yep. So we can burn it. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Got to reroll one of them. Can we get lucky again? Oh. 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 That's not what I said. Yeah. Crit. It's crit. 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 So then the structural. It is not. You cannot ready defense tokens. It's not going to matter. No. One health remaining, one blue dice out the back from the quasar. With one evade left. With one evade left. Janice Light's juking and jiving. The rear gunner is trying to. It's oh, an accuracy. Oh, wait, wait, wait. 
Intensify firepower to a hit. Do I have it? No, it's, it's entire fleet command. Oh, it's just, just turn it to a hit. Just turn it to a hit. Intensify right. to a hit. Right. Now reroll. Oh, 75% chance. 75% chance. It's hit. a hit. Oh, my close. Oh, my gosh. I feel like Darren G today. And when I deployed him, I. Yeah, you're fine. Yeah. We'll see if we measured it right. See if well, the shield down in it. No, it's weird. Yeah. But then, well, the right. on fire. Yep. And uh, before we do that, do you need any engineering? No, I still have. Okay, great. Right. Engineering tokens, but I've had since day one. Day one, round one. Well, I'll give one to myself. There you go. All right. So you can put an engineering from the pantry supply. We'll take one up and put it on our itself, just in case. Okay? Alright, now... Can you do that, actually? Yeah, you can... Because yeah. unless, it, unless, it? unless it says other ships, you it can place... Friendly, I, you're friendly to yourself. Yeah, you're friendly. So, okay, that's nice. Yeah. Can you bring the ship? Now, should I take the side the shot with the back bar right into the... I mean, he is... That's fine. Some damage. I mean, we're not in range. range. So yeah. then we have to do long range down right into... Yep, and of course that's how he's dead, so now you yeah. can't swap out dice. Yeah. Man, we didn't get to use that uh, ability. Yeah. I just thought the chance there was less than 10%, and yeah. uh, we got the 10%. I'm actually with you. I thought for sure you were going to... I thought he was dead. I completely missed Janus Light attacking into yeah. Unshielded at speed zero. All right, we've got Palpatine. Let's concentrate fire. going to take a medium-range shot into the Beast of Burden. That is Beast of Burden, right? Yep. What does Beast of Burden do anyway? I don't even think I remember what. If I spent whatever um, tokens I spent, I could make something else you know, um, unexhausted. Unexhausted, gotcha. Alright, gonna take, and then I'll just do a flak shot out the back on that tri fighter, that's two health. Yep, casual gaming back again. We'll do the flak shot first, blue black. Uh, just one intensifier does not work on squad attack, so the tri fighter is still alive. Then three red, two blue into the back of the Beast of Burden. Then I think we will concentrate fire in a blue. There we go. That get that in the tray. Same difference. And. I do have leading shots. I think I'm going to leading shots. Both these blues and two of the reds. Still no accuracies. So we'll intensify that to a hit. So five damage. You guys got all your defense tokens that you can use. And this is medium range as far as the evade is concerned. I'll also be using the day definitely. Okay, do you want to burn it to reroll two or just one to reroll one? Two. Burn it to reroll two. And I just put it on. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do the a crit, of course. Okay. 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 This is the first time you're with, you're with, with us in person with everybody, and it's just, I'm sorry, man. Yeah, no, I get it. Um, well, I'm gonna burn the brace at this point. Yeah, gonna have to burn the brace. So burn to three, so that you'll still take one internal face down, or you could burn the redirect to take nothing, just all on the shields. Uh, I mean, it's gonna be dead either way. Right, not what happens. So we'll just burn it, make it more, take it more fire, I guess. Okay. Burn it, shields down on the back and sides. Moving at speed three. Nope, no ability to modify it, but we'll just uh, go as fast as we can. That's something like that. I'm kind of right in there like so. We could, we just didn't expect him to. Yeah. <laughs> we can just pull the quasar if you want. Yeah, we'll just what? No, but do you want to, but don't, don't you want to roll all the dice though? Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm not actually leaving on red. You could get a lot of accuracy. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not even thinking about it. Well, <laughs> I said off you guys because it's fun to roll a lot of dice. Yeah, 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 yeah. speed two now, isn't it? A speed one. Yeah, speed so one. it does get just defense tokens. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What do you got? A brace, 
Redirect doesn't matter because we don't have any side shields. So you need an accuracy and four damage. Do you heal four damage? Or no, we have two shield. shields on the front. Yeah, yeah we're going to have that car back from the kill this thing. Yep. Alright, so, yep, four red, two blue. You got it even with the brace. Yeah. <laughs> I think. I think it's only seven. Oh, no, seven, one, two, three. Yeah. Seven, one, two, three. Is it seven or is it six? six one, two, three, well, we got two, two Akbar. There it is. One, but if you want to cap it off with a defiance. <laughs> yep. Yep. Quasar then <laughs> evaporates. <laughs> yes. Even with the brace. Mm, yep. Even I still locked down. Go that far flying. Well, the question is, do we make it on a medium range? Might. I just love this shot here on the camera. Just Akbar and Thrawn facing off on the classic command ships. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Think medium range still? I don't have to be, I, I think, think it's going to be just out, out to do corner to corner. If he does his corner, I think you are. No? Ooh. Good idea. I don't it is there. there. Yeah. Oh, that's a good snap. But I still don't think, even with double arcing, that's only a medium at the front, long range at the side. So okay. even with the double arc shot, with advanced projectors, there's just... He hasn't even taken damage on the hole yet. I don't even think it's statistically no. possible. Here's the damage that he can take. Here's the engineer token if we want to. Yeah, he can take eight. Shields, shields up. Yeah, shields up. Yep. Which so shield? just. Uh, take it on the back. The back one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Watch out for No, I'm way out. Yeah, he, he's out of fight. Squat phase. Well, we got a Zerti. Can I try to kill a, a droid trap fire? Yeah, he gets three reds. Can we kill some droids? <laughs> Three reds? Yep, three reds. Okay, let's go with three hits. We got Four, hits. complete whiff. And he has no friends near. Oh, dang it, should have moved the defender over first so that you get damage the defender yeah. for a reroll. Yeah. But and do we want to send it. this defender over to tingle with that vulture droid? Or just run him away? Well, no, I was thinking about putting the defender in his line of sight for squadron shot at the end of the next turn. Oh, yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Let's jump him over. That's not bad. So, Alright, then you guys so got the uh, Vulture and Tycho over there. Yeah. Do you guys want to have them attack? Uh, we can. Yep. I don't think we're going to kill them. Start working on them. Maybe so, send Shower over there as well for a round six. Uh, Just gang up on Zerti. Oh, yeah, and since Sato is dead or Sato is dead. Yeah. So. Vulture. Vulture. One, one damage. And the Tycho. Oh. Yeah. Nothing? Oh, yeah, it did. Oh, yeah, you can reroll one, maybe spend a brace. Oh, oh sorry. sorry. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. Yeah. Nope. Oh. Down to one. Down to one. We become highly oh, accurate. Yes, yes. Very accurate shots. And then the rest of it is just going to be movement guys. I'll show you where they are at the start of round six. There's nothing left to do fleet wise for Thrawn. Thrawn and Akbar are facing off for the final trading of shots. I don't think either one of that either one of them will die, but it is possible. We have seen the dice spiking last round, <laughs> so who knows what will happen? Or with Thrawn, it is a concentrate fire. And we're just we've got a long range side to side and a medium range front to side. Akbar is full on defense tokens, practically full health on shields. Again, statistics and all that. Well, there we go. We'll just leave that there. One damage. <laughs> well, I can't do anything with it right now. <laughs> but yeah, no more intense fives. I burned it. Oh, we can just redirect it on the right side, the starboard side. Yep. He has some base projectors, so we can reach it. Yep. It's the it's the countered XI sevens. And the front shot. It's a pretty good roll, but still not going to do much. Not yet. Yep, I think I will concentrate fire in a blue. Is he actually? 
We'll stop the brace and just, you know, let that be there. Uh, that'll be two, four, six, eight damage. Uh, I'd have to, I'd have to take a blue weather. Yeah. So we'll spend that redirect. Okay, so you can redirect to three shields. Yeah. So, uh, you will be taking one crit inside. Okay. So I'm assuming you want to spend the contain? Yeah, can. Or did you want to salvo back? So here's a question. So yeah. when you decide to salvo back, is that done during the fence? Or yeah. can you use the brace later so because it's not actually it, it, It's during the def spend defense token step, okay. so the brace exactly. is locked down. Yeah. I, I, I'm just good with the crit going Okay, through. so seven shields have been Yeah, and some of the detainment will go off just in case it's in the room. No, I was going to salvo back and then ready up a defense token. Yep. Okay. Sounds good. So yeah. one face up. It's not going to be, he's still going to have seven health remaining. Shield failure. Uh, yeah, that's why I was like, so just drop, drop, drop. <laughs> no more shots coming in, though, so it doesn't matter. I know. Oh, well, well, there's spiders. Yeah. I don't think we're going to, we don't have the firepower to do it. And so, then, uh, Savile back. Yep. Now, he does have the firepower to potentially drop Thrawn. Do it. Of course, that is the question of is if, is if he wants to, uh, just salvo back. Uh, I'll take that. He does have the firepower to drop Thrawn, so that's four damage. So, so we got a crit, so we'll get our, uh, so we'll get our contain back. Yep, with yeah. Get that, get that. I will brace, redirect. Um, it's one and one. Like so. And then moving at speed two, doing a little sidestep here, kind of doing what I did at the LSO, running over debris field all the time. And if I did clip it, we'll just take the two damage on my back two shields. Oh, oh so you can take that damage. Oh, debris field, you can take, take, take on the shields. Yeah. Where was uh... Oh, I ran over him, or I ran over Shara, so you get to move her. And this vulture was still there. Yeah, I'm sure yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right. We got Akbar. So, uh, what are the hard case? Unload. Or the hard case, oh, actually. Yeah, we forgot about that guy. Well, um, he's gonna die next. No one else can Yeah, we can activate him. him. Yeah, let's do that and let's we'll fire at um, Thrawn. You sure you don't want Akbar in? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Akbar in the Kuat? What is, that's our dial. Did we even plan a dial for him? I'm gonna say Confire. No, I didn't. <laughs> say what's Confire. You, you wouldn't have, have done anything else, so let's call it a Confire. Medium right? rate, because yeah, because you're not. You, yeah. yeah. Party shields on the front. So far, so good. Yep, concentrate fire. I'm gonna add in the blue to lock down. I'm not going down without a fight. You know, let's put blue to lock down. So Where's your defense? Team? Oh. Run them over here before you see guys. Oh, right here. Are there? Um, you wanna do blue? Yeah, it's a guaranteed hit of some sort. Yep. Okay, so four damage. Well, I'm not burning my brace to his accuracy. But then he might get an accuracy though. Do I wanna use the brace now? How much can you, you haven't taken any internal damage? No internal yet. And you have 11 internal damage? Yes. Just take it on the shields only? What's the most damage that thing can do? A lot. 16 points. Uh, 6 times 2, 12, and then adding 2 blues, 14, and then he got, if he con fires, yeah. then defiance, he could get up to 18. If, if it goes the hottest it can go, you can do 18 damage. Yeah. <laughs> one of those blue blocks, those yeah. Yeah. Um, you definitely need the brace. Probability is it's going to get a concentrate. So use your. Yeah, they use the burn it now. Burn just, to, just to take it on the shield. Yeah. Yep. So, burn the brace. Huh? Now, see, the redirect's not going to matter now. So I think redirect to here, burn the redirect. Oh, okay. Oh, it's going to be seven shields. Because if he shoots here anyway, yeah. well, actually, no, never mind. Well, keep, right. Just keep it on the. No, because if he gets front of zero, he'll shoot in front. Right, that's true. Yeah. So now, now you just got yourself one last point. Yeah, that's true. You burn your redirects as well. Yeah, yep. yep. And then I will salvo into this guy. And this was from the front, so that was clear. Uh, I will stop your evade. Okay. So two crits on the front. Take it on the front. Yeah. All righty. Well, let's not even worry about the movement. Let's just go straight to Akbar. I'm yeah, ready for Akbar. Oh, nah, nah. Okay. Well, 
I don't want to give Palpatine really any glory. <laughs> I'm going to take a quick picture, guys, so you guys can see the Akbar shot into Thrawn, and then we're going to see can Akbar drop. So now he's doing 12 damage. Because I have no brace, no redirect, just 12, 12 damage straight up. Get in there. Yep. So Akbar is safe even for retaliation. Uh, we're gonna Akbar. Definitely. The short, the short. Oh yeah. So it, yeah, he's gonna get right four right. red, two blue, two more red. We're gonna go defiance. side to side. Side to side. What, the front? Or no? front has two shields. Yeah, so. the front has two shields. It's not starting off great. Five damage, two, four. Okay, third of the way there. Okay, and then Akbar. Oh, oh, oh. And then Defiance. We'll do the black. Yeah. You agree? Yes. Oh, is he gonna do it? Two, four, six, eight, nine. Two more points of damage. Got to spend a blue, so down to eight. Need three damage on yeah. two dice. I, no, four damage on two dice. You have to get three shield. There's nothing else you got. Or get a structural damage. So. There's nothing else you got. Well, we got fighters that can clean up. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, we don't fight into that. Mm-hmm. So. But go for it. I take the kill from him. Yeah. Don't yeah. worry about how much you get. Nope. Oh. oh. But yeah. still, yeah, I mean, yeah. I just love what Akbar can do. Two, four, six, eight, ten damage I'm going to contain. Ten fa- uh, so nine face down, one on the shield, two health remaining. Nine face down? Right, right. Is this the uh, six? Yeah, this right. is six. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, that was an incredible shot. The, uh, nine. Then Akbar moving. He does clear the debris field and activates hyperspace to allow the rebellion to live on. Yes, warp speed. Thrawn will have to try to lock him down again in the future, but not for a while, because Thrawn is going off to the edge of the galaxy. Now, what is that fight right there? So, we'll be back at the end, at the post-game interview. Okay, so there we have it. The two key commanders did survive. In the end, Thrawn was not destroyed. Akbar was able to escape. Yes. So the two commanders that we had at the OSO um, lived to fight another day. And uh, it was a really fun game, it was fun. especially round five. Some insane <laughs> dice moments that were could not believe that they happened. How many accuracies can we get? You know? Yeah, so definitely a fitting send off yeah. game, I think, for Thrawn. Yeah, especially with the Speed um, Zero show. Oh, yeah, yeah. it is Speed it's Zero Zero. I mean, yeah, I mean, again, guys, we're playing fast and loose here. I mean, Buster and I decided to keep a quasar at Speed Zero for the whole game mm-hmm. until the yeah. end. So we're in. It's been up just about. Complete <laughs> madness. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, that's when you're playing fun, casual games, just throw it, right. you know. Three commanders on one side, mixing and matching factions and everything. It's kind of cool to, yeah. see how, to see how that works. So that's always the fun thing about Armada is that you don't have to play by the rules when you're playing no. with friends, playing casually. You can make up your own rules and, yeah. do, and do house rules, that kind of thing, for scenarios. Um, so uh, again, it, it really is was a tie. Both had the pure victory yeah. conditions. Um, final thoughts of how the game went. For Learning that I don't play separate as well. Much to learn. <laughs> yeah, no, right, yes. <laughs> Sadly, I don't either. Um, and I almost played the chips. But uh, yeah, that was sad. Yeah. But those separatists. The vultures were actually, I looked longer than I thought. They're, they're highly fast. effective. And they're very fast. They're very fast. You guys won the anti squad battle. The tribe fighters as well. So yeah. those guys are good. Yeah. And they're class game wins. Um, but, you yeah. know, I. The hard. I don't know. I had trouble with them anyways, and I think we did, we both of us did, yeah, yeah. we had trouble with them and everything else, but, uh, no, um, and then of course, yeah, MC90, which Ben did not see coming. No, I was not expecting them to shoot <laughs> yeah. with that, I thought, I was expecting, so, round five, Quakes was at zero, I was like, you know, we're going to go ahead and go with Thrawn to drop Martu, 
And just hope we had, we had to do anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then hope that the Quasar can survive six red dice with no rerolls because it hadn't activated yet into a shielded session. Right. I was not taking any account to the calculus, but I might have saw this. Was the CR Gina's light activating attacking the zero shield section with I was five the, dice. with with five dice. Right. Contra fire, fire with six. And in rerolls. In rerolls. Yeah. yeah. I don't. Someone, someone that is better at math than us, figure out what those odds were that that didn't happen. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. absolutely yeah. out there. Unbelievable. But, the sequence yeah. of events in round five. Yeah. And that's one thing that if you're, uh, if you did see us or not, but Aaron and I said that. Um, oh yeah, we're going to take out March, and that's our first move. We're like, let's get up. Okay, go ahead. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, two health. We knew we were yeah. going to live. Yeah. We're like, okay. March is over. March, something happened. March. Yep. Eagle spiders kind of like stranded out there. That's fine. Yeah. I think the other critical error we made is like uh, round three when we didn't take our uh, A wing ace that can't get locked down. Like the, the Tycho and, and not throw him into that tie bomber. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 I mean, they just kept keeping with the uh, heart cell oh. and the CR90. Yeah. And unfortunately, they were at a speed outpacing any of the other bigger ships to support them. And the fighters can never just catch up with them. That was, I think, a critical error. Yeah, because yeah, if Tycho would have gone into that first ball, then one, they're not attacking the hard cell next Yeah, round. the hard cell. And, and the hard cell is probably still alive. Yeah. And then they can't move back to go after, uh, they, they have to waste time trying to kill Tycho. Yeah, right. So. Yeah, we got uh, two uses out of our, our fighters that I don't think we should have gotten. Yeah. yeah. And we should have been locked yeah. down. Yeah. And then the carrier should have been destroyed. And that would have actually eliminated the effectiveness of the fighter force. Yeah, yeah. And our entire fleet, really. Yes. Our yeah. entire fleet was focused along, along that period, for sure. Because mm-hmm. Palpatine did nothing. He was useless. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and I love, and, I, and I'm sure most of you guys watching are so happy that I wasted 13 points on those expanded launchers. <laughs> Never shot with them once. You know, certainly right. But hey, I, you know, I just, you know, I know I'm wrong, but I like them. <laughs> Even if I never, completely wasted, but. Uh, and we thought Palpatine for sure would be able to swing around and catch Akbar, but... Yeah, I realize speed 3, speed 2 is not that... Not, not, not that much of a difference, yeah. yeah. And then the ability you guys are doing that on Akbar to help yeah, right. him swing his yeah. butt out yeah. and yeah. just stay out of range. Yeah. And, so, and then we throw a hard cell in the way, too. Yeah, and the hard cell has a rip off, and so... Yeah, I'm, just, I'm still trying to figure out. There was about that much difference between Palpatine and Akbar. Yep. And at the end of the game, and this is with Palpatine going three the entire time, Akbar going two. Yep, yep. At the end of the game, there is about that much difference between them. What? I, I'm not sure how that works. Yeah, but right. yeah, it's it's going to it's it's make it, I don't know. Yeah, it's yeah, kind of weird on the uh, yeah. butt out. Yeah. Just, yeah. just wait until you face an SST with JJ. You'll really know how it works. And Ozzel. Yeah. Swing that butt out. Yeah. You'll really understand. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's crazy what kind of damage you can get from this game. Well, uh, thank you guys for all coming here for this. I just wanted this to be like a uh, finale game for the past two months from for the Lone Star Open. Yes, exactly. Now, thank you to Rob so much for pra- no. helping me practice. No problem. To Robbie for helping me and Aaron practice. Yep. Mm-hmm. And Robbie for painting those defenders up for me and the other, um, the other squads that he made up for me to take. And thank you, Aaron. I mean, we got yeah. lots of good practice there. Yeah, we did. Yeah. It was fun to have someone I knew there. Yeah. Uh, with, yeah. Uh, we're competing. And... Uh, I know I've said this in another video, but not with you here, but congratulations on fourth place. Oh, that was an absolutely yeah. excellent finish. Okay. Fourth place out of 18 was absolutely phenomenal. So, yeah, yeah Keen was the acronym KISS. Keep it simple. Yeah, keep yeah. it simple, stupid. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Keep it simple. And uh, we did not do it on our side today. No, we're this just, is yeah. actually very complex. <laughs> when we house rule and break the game and add three yeah. defenders, there's actually yeah. a lot more complexity to yeah. this. <laughs> I'm trying to get them all to work together. So, But uh, hopefully, you know, We'll see you guys, I mean, six months away, but, you know, you'll see Aaron and I at the Las Vegas Open and maybe uh, a couple other guys at the Las Vegas Open. Yeah, yeah. We've got six yeah. months to convince them. Wait, you, Uncle Sam. Yeah, we yeah. 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 come to the Las Vegas yeah. Open. Yeah. Let's make it not a Warhammer convention, but an Armada uh, convention. Armada convention, yes, yeah. take over the frontline yeah. gaming, make it Armada, not yeah. Warhammer. Yeah. Exactly. Not enough room for Armada, so we need to expand the convention home. Yes, 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 exactly. Let's yeah. make it happen. Okay, just want to remind you guys about the giveaway for the month of August. It's going to be the Liberty Expansion for $50 for our credit. The Liberty was donated by an anonymous donor. So just be sure to subscribe to the channel and just comment in this video. There'll be no questions for this one. We'll get back to the questions for the, the standard back reps. Just comment in the comments below. That'll enter you to win. And I'll announce the winner on September 1st. 
So thank you guys all. It was a really fun game. No, uh, no, nice section to have Aaron meet Rob and Buster and Chris yeah, 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 Collins. Hope we can do awesome. more in the future. And until next time, guys, take it easy.